medical study on the effects of marijuana use confirms that everyone knows you're high and that you'll most likely never stop feeling like this. Your parents know you're high. Welcome to everyone knows your Hosted by Uncle Kale. You could have never come back. You know all that stupid yeah. shit. And Uncle Eric. If I could like retreat away. Yeah. Yeah. You should definitely try that. This is for real. This is the new reality. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Well, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another episode <laughs> of Everyone Knows You're High, starring the Grow Guru. What's up? Let's give it up for the Guru, lighting some special incense. <laughs> I am your co-host, Eric. This week, we have in studio Kainoa joining us. What's up, guys? Fucking... Here we go. Let's do it. And he is representing. Tell me about it. Several. Several, Several things. Okay. 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 <coughs> Sorry, I, I never uh, read the bio. I supposed to have my son here tonight, but. Okay. But then, yeah, I. In the music industry, I represent Bubba V. Shout out to Bubs. Out of Vegas. And the boys of Paul, who we've been playing. Shout out to Dan's and Clans. Be playing in Vegas coming up, so yeah. Team shut them down. Team shut them down. Team shut them down. <coughs> Staying busy. Yeah. We're really, really at paint houses. Yeah. That's and the day a job. There, a day job. Oh. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Don't quit your day job, kids. But music industry is where it's at. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of successful Hawaii artists. <coughs> Have day jobs still oh, yeah. yet. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. Some of them you might not expect. They work at banks. <laughs> you know what I'm Painter. saying? <laughs> Paint. yeah, painters. Right? Fucking TV. You know what I'm saying? TV Right. He's a painter. Was it uh, <coughs> Uncle Gabby Marcus. Pahinui? Marcus he worked for the Painter. city? Yeah. They work yeah. like Hawaiian dredging, Lanat. Yeah. You know what I mean? They need the bannies. <laughs> there you go. Music is just on the side. Like Kane Capilo and Paul. Yeah, work. but that, that's kind of sad, though, that Hawaii artists, I mean, there's a select few that have, like, transcended. Yeah. The Hawaii fame, you know what I mean? Made it worldwide. Right. But there's not a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think Kalani Pea is the one that's crushing it right now, right? Internationally. Oh, what about Bruno Mars, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was thinking about like him and like Don Ho and... Because yeah, yeah. Like, he was like the most recent that won... What did he win? A fucking uh, recent, like a super good award. He just won a Grammy. Award. Grammy, right? there you go. What the hell was that? What? Kalani Pea? Yeah, who's that? Yeah, he just... The Hawaiian sings. singer? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Never heard of him. He's probably for right her. now up in Hilo singing for some halal for Mary Monarch, which reminds me, I want to give a shout out to Anu. Turtle Doves is up there to our usual sound guys in Hilo for Mary Monarch. Nice. So it, this is going to come out way after it's done already, but for congratulations. Live, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, fuck. Right on. I don't really follow Hawaiian, Hawaiian music. Yeah. I like to. Like, I'm real proud of myself that I touch all genres, separate yeah. country, but all genres yeah. of fucking of music. You know what I mean? Like, um, the old school, even like ho- some hula kahiko. I think is fucking super beautiful. You know, just oh, yeah. to, like Mark um, Kelly E. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but and then it, so speaking <coughs> like to that, like Hawaii's hip hop scene is even <coughs> smaller than every other like right. hip hop scene. However, there's some talent. Here, that I think is I think I think there's underrated. No, there's no direction. Oh. Like nobody really leading the leading the group. Everybody's right. kind of where's the trailblazer at? You know what I mean? Right. You're talking about that before. Like right. set your own pace, set your right. own trail, man, and right. let everybody jump on board with you. And I think right. that's the way. Uh, I, I mean, Hawaii is fucking. <coughs> it can be a trend-setting place. Oh, I yeah. why everybody wants to vacation here. Right. How much people throw shakas now? Everybody. Fuck. Right? You know? I see the it in like Ohio and shit. Like, hey, like I guess that's the thing to do. But right. they do jujitsu, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. It's, a, it's become like a jujitsu thing. It's like synonymous 
with mixed martial arts for some reason. BJ Penn. He used to always throw shakas could all be, over. Right? The, picked up, you know. Right. Could be. He did the the hook and the shaka. He used to always do that shit. And I was yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, that's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, be bro. careful. You break your pinky on that one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Hawaii's hip hop. Like, even like growing up, I never really knew it existed. Like growing up in high school, I was a big like hip hop head and right. shit. Wow. But that was like the late '90s, right. and there wasn't really much out there as far as like local talent to like look up to. Be like, oh, that's like Ur- our like, scene. Uh, Sudden uh, Rush, I, maybe? I, I, I remember Urban Joint, Big T's then. Huh. Daddy is so clear, yeah. Oh. Smacks and T's. No shit. Urban Joint, you know, they opened up for Snoop Dogg in, at um, the Blaisdell. We were fucking, you know, gotta be 20, 21. No um, shit. Boy, yeah, for real. West Side oh, Boys. That's fucking That's me. What was that, like the 90s? 90s, yep. That's crazy. Yep. Even in, like, Mainstream, there weren't any, not too much good rappers. Mm-hmm. UMT re raps came out. That's how everybody got into rapping and got right. to see it on the mainstream level. Right, right. <coughs> I only remember, like, um, the RZA and all uh, Wu Tang Clan fan. That's what I remember growing up. Right. <coughs> no. I was never, never a rap, rap fan. I was just uh, pure reggae mm. every every day, all day. Right, right. <coughs> only until my son started rapping and I. I started listening to it. And we all grew up with some sort of <coughs> rap influence because we grew right. up during that time period uh, where, like, right. the gangster rap was fucking really popular. And yeah. everybody knows the songs that Snoop Dogg's, Dr. Dre's albums, right. you know, right. Tupac's, everybody. Right. I don't care Biggie. what. Biggie. you know what I mean? Yeah. Bone Thugs. <coughs> I mean, no. that, that fu- Crazy Bone's rapping fast, but you know right. everything that he's saying, right. you know right. what I mean? Right. So, right. like, right. Right. that's part of our fucking, our, our time period. So, you know, now it's it's starting to change, it's starting to go in a fucking different direction. Rap's right. changing, yeah. And right. us growing up, we looked up to the fucking people that were on the record labels. Right. We don't know any local guys. You know? I, I couldn't right. tell you one local rap artist out here, you know. like, And now it's being more prevalent. I guess there's more household names nowadays. Right. Like, There's more kids that are coming through, like your son, yeah, bro. Yeah, Dallas J. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out Dallas. There's Jay. an empty chair bring over here. Bring There's bring an empty ass, chair for next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, like you're saying, like nowadays, like everybody knows the angry locals, right. you know, right. Pohaku and all these guys. But like back then, yeah, it's like, and it says something, the marketing wasn't there. The backing wasn't there. Right. Like right. people weren't like hip to it. I guess the radio stations right. definitely weren't fucking playing right. it. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah. And then and, we and, got exposed to lo- the West Coast shit. And local, locals, they're oblivious to like the money in in the music game, how to get it. These these white guys just come in and, yeah, we'll, right. we'll promote you or we'll publish you and they take all the royalties. We, okay. we, just, we just have people to hear ourselves on the radio. Yeah, right, right. These guys they sign pocket, not yeah, good they're deals. Pocketing, they're pocketing everything. You're not even knowing. You know what I mean? And that's how it is, too. You know, They right. kind of catch us for the curve. They always right. were. Right. Like, hey, fucking, we'll get you on the radio. Right. Yeah, but what about that fucking cash deal, dog? Right, right, no one's talking right, about right, that right, shit. Right, right, right. That's the elephant in the room. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's not a lot. There wasn't a lot of, like, education for, like, right, the music right, biz. Right. And then what? Hawaii only had, what, Mountain Apple? Right. Record, like, a couple yeah. record labels, and they wasn't yeah. putting out hip-hop, so no, a lot it, of shit had to be independent. Is there, man. I'm so was, glad you're clued up into this shit, man. I mean, more so now, but... Back then, I was just listening to, like, what my friends said was cool and, like, what my right. sister was listening yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, my Ska young, music? My, That's cool, My bro. younger brother used to be, like, yeah. he'd break out all the new types of music and I listened to it through him. I dig that, though. Like, right. fucking everything passed through us. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. all that different genres. I'll give it a chance, though. You know, no matter what music, I'll give it a chance. But right. if you don't catch me on the first six seconds, ah, I yep. skip through it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta wanna turn it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ugh, fuck. Something gotta catch you. That shit's too twangy yeah, for yeah. me, bro. I'm good. Right, Change right, the track. Right. There's nothing wrong with country. Oh, this is me personally. Yeah, it's just yeah. your opinion. Yeah, it's That's my the opinion. Beautiful thing about it. It's like you can <coughs> like whatever you like. Yeah. I'm you know static, you know, and I hear that shit too, and only my left ear. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my right ear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <coughs> we gotta figure out. We got some technical glitches we're still trying to figure out, and our sound guy is not here. Hope so I apologize. The sound quality is completely 100% my fault this time. This time. Usually it's his fault. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. 
my first time. No, but you know what? Funny story about Hawaii hip hop. Fucking in the year 1999, it might have been 2000. We were seniors in high school, Brown Bags to Stardom. Mm. Me and my one friend, Chris, we rapped for Brown Bags. <laughs> We Why? were told. Did you guys win? Fuck no. We came in <laughs> last place. The only one who came up to us and like at least like acknowledged our effort was Big T's. He was one of the judges. Yeah, yeah. All the other ones was like, I don't know, you know, Hawaiian singers Stay and radio school. personalities. Like, yeah, don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, gentlemen. But like. You guys are still young. How, how old are you? 36. Yeah, you guys are young 39. Boy, Fuck. But in front of the school, we were told we were the first rap, like hip hop act ever. And it was Zero. like real East Coasty. We used like a well, it was West. We used Alcoholics, one of their beats, mm. and then we wrote our own shit and fucking. <laughs> I don't know. Do you remember that, Mike? Nope. Do you remember that? You were in. I was a attack. freshman, yo. Fuck that. No, no, no. I'm just trying to find See, my way. <laughs> people might not believe me, but those of you who went with? to Pearl City High School and were in there at the year 2000 or whatever, go look in your yearbook for that year 2000. There's a picture of me. Me and Chris. Chris Isseri. Crimson was his name. I was going to say, I hope Do you have a your picture yearbook? of you in the yearbook. Yeah, in the yearbook. I kind of I I see you without the beard, though. Oh, no beard, but maybe he had a little yeah, bit of yeah. hair. Oh, a little yeah, bit yeah, of yeah. hair on the chin. and He had the yeah, fitted yeah, yeah. fucking hats backwards. Oh, yeah, 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 baggy yeah, yeah. shorts, yeah. No, he baggy. The, he had the long hair. Ponytail. Nah, no, not even no, no, no. buzzed head, probably. Nah, yeah. you had the undercut, though. Yeah. The booyah. Nah, that was a long time ago. That was like a <laughs> seven Everybody years. had the booyah. Everybody. Everybody. I, I wasn't was, allowed. I, I was rocking a booyah. I was like, fuck head. that. You ain't having a booyah. I said, Mom, I want a booyah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That was in 12th grade, no but that was the though. days of like oversized jackets and Timberlands. Like, why are you wearing Timberlands in Hawaii? What yeah. the fuck? It's not snowing. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's hot, motherfucker. Your feet are sweaty. And in the moccasins, remember that moccasin phase where everyone wore, wore the house slippers out? Oh, the yeah, Jesus, like fucking low slippers. Not only the Jesus slippers, the fucking cloth ones. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gang sweat. With, horrible, yeah, they sweat. Bro. Your feet sweat. Oh. With long white tube socks. Yes. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. And Dickie shorts. Yeah. What happened? Or basketball shorts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oversized. Everything was big, and now everything is, like, small and tight. Right. Yeah, right. Everything is right back. <laughs> Matt yeah. said you even hit puberty to after high school, coming from in, in Yeah, I remember in 93, the fucking Michigan guy, like Chris Weber, they, they started the long Joan yeah. Howard, the baggy, the yes. Fab Five. Joan Howard. The man. Fab Five, they started the baggy shit. Before that, it was like Magic Game was wearing all Daisy Dukes and shit. Right, yeah, and above they, the knee shorts, yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, Jerry West. Oh, that's a fucking, fucking time dumb. stamp right, right there, bro. You remember the Joan Howard shoes? Oh, yeah. That's my time, bro. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I remember I, that, and that was like a big thing. Like, oh, you got yeah. the Juwan Howard. Bro, Juwan Howard is a coach for Michigan, I think, this year. He got is he? he? Bro, he on false in in a tournament. He on false out of coach, bro. Upset. Ah. Walk right up to him, crack <laughs> another head coach, or like gangsta. Bro, he's a hood hood gangsta, guy, bro. bro. Yeah, those are the nineties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And fuck around. He's punching Still got that face. 90s sensibility. Yeah, he's punching <laughs> in the face. Bro, did you see that video of Mike Tyson yeah, punching the dude it, out on, on the airplane? airplane? Yeah. Fuck. Hey, man, as oh. close as an autograph as you can get, that's in my uh, opinion. Nah, it's not worth it. You can get brain damage. Bro, guaranteed. This guy was just fucking... Oh, he was wrong, bro. Bro. Uh, imagine what the guy did for him to get that Did match. you see it? He no, was, like, throwing water it. on him and shit. I saw that. He never get hooked. Bro, People are holding his ass back, man. Oh, bro, I bet. For like 10 minutes, the guy just wouldn't leave him alone. I heard that's yeah. what I, one of the posts I read. No, you can read. see it on the videos. I watched the videos. The whole like, thing? I never I mean, see. I've never seen. I haven't like a seen whole, that whole thing uncut. But like the clips of it, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he looked like a dick. Like I would punch him if I and fucking was like a little that. bit off too. So yeah. Right. Who it, made that joke? It took a lot of restraint, man, for that for Mike Tyson not to fucking kill him, dude. One Jeez. of these comedians made a joke. <laughs> oh my god, he still got it. <laughs> yeah. There was a comedian that made a joke about how he doesn't like how everybody's so comfortable just walking up to Mike Tyson and is comfortable around Mike Tyson. Like, people should be scared around Mike right. Tyson. Because he's not fucking... He's a fucking mentally, lion, bro. He's not even mentally there, too. Right. You know what I mean? Did you see he's him on the Joe Rogan's podcast before he fought Roy Jones on his last charity fucking boxing or oh. exhibition? Well, he's... Ro- bro, a- he's a different fucking guy because he went on the Joe Rogan podcast twice. Mm-hmm. And the first episode, he was really passive because he was smoking a lot of weed, right, eating right, mushrooms. Right, right, right. So he was really into DMT and shit. So he had like a little different approach at life. Then we got the call to fight fucking Roy Jones and he was like fully focused. Bro, like a fucking like animal came out. Oh, Even Joe Rogan, yeah. you can see his Flip demeanor. Switch, yeah. yeah, he was kind of like, whoa, where did this guy <laughs> yeah, come yeah. from? Like, yeah. 
iron mic. You ring the yeah. bell and I'll eat your face. Yeah, like, yeah. Bite yeah. Your ear off. I cool. want to eat your children. Yes, mm. dude. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You know, yes. Late nineties. Oh my Tyson. god, that's my Mike. childhood right there. You know, oh, that guy used to beat cats up. I admit, he beat Roy Jones. I mean, fuck, dude. As old as he was, you know he what mean? beat Roy Jones. Dude. They're both he old too, though. Yeah, but Roy Jones has been fought in, fighting in fucking Russia. He this actually, whole time? Yes, he's no. been active, dude. So yeah, I was well, like, fighting probably amateurs. Or yeah, like, yeah. Hello. Smoking the Russians. Yeah, man. he's chicken fighting. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee. Just fucking easy, easy setup. Just no. Line him up and he'll knock him down. Well, that's job security, right? No. Everybody wants a box Roy Jones, but he's always gonna fucking win. So you're saying it's like a kissing booth for boxing Roy Jones? Like, for real? Who's next? Just step right up. You got your money. You can step in the ring. Get your ass knocked out. <laughs> Like, Mayweather's probably going to do that shit for the rest of his fucking career. It's just hang loose and box fucking schmucks, bro. Boxers. Mad loot. Bro. But Logan like, Paul? Like, fuck. Come on, man. Is that, like, cool for the sport? I'm not, like, a huge boxing fan, so I don't know how people feel about it. I don't feel any well, sort of boxing has way lost about it. its fucking integrity for years because. Yeah, MMA. Do you mean? Yep. And right. MMA put it on check because guys were willing to right. fight for less, too. You right. know what I mean? They don't need that big pay per view. At one point, it was, like, it was rigged, the uh, boxing. Yep. Like Pacquiao and Luster, yep. that white boy. Like, that yeah. that was fucking Don, bad. Don dude. King coming in, promoting and fucking swaying, swaying judges. And yep. And that political, and even like nowadays when the, the promotion split, so Showtime Boxing, right, and, uh, right, right, fucking uh, Golden Boy Productions, right. all of that shit, right? Uh, it Bellator. legitimizes the belts because the belts is now divided between these promotions and right. these weight classes. Right. So it's hard to fucking dial in exactly who is what and what the pay yeah, should be for who. The UFC is yeah. running them, though. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. And they're getting away with murder because these fucking guys are fighting with four-ounce gloves and <laughs> fucking getting hurt and getting paid a fraction of what boxing would pay these guys. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see crossovers where MMA guys are fucking boxing boxers. Yeah? Right. Like exhibitions. Yep, the money's not right. That's why. We got Logan Paul in. Yep. And you got to cut well, fucking weight, the sport dude. to me. Those yeah. Things. It does. It becomes entertainment. Man. Especially ah. when you put Tyron Woodley against fucking Jake Paul, and he gets yeah. slapped. Like, pow. How did you think that one was going to go? You thought Tyron Woodley was going to smoke him? Initially, I thought he would, like, because he has that fucking experience in the later rounds, right? So initially, I thought he would have fucking weathered uh, the fucking storm, Jake Paul, and drew out the fight to where he would fade and then capitalize. But, I mean, oh, brah. Boom, sweat went flying. He's fucking out. Yeah. Wow. I'm not a huge, yeah, like I said, I'm not like an avid fan, but I was still shocked. Like, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just heard ka-ching. Mm-hmm. The cast drawer opened and closed real fast. Yeah, yeah. fucking eyes went. Yeah. That's exactly what happened, bro. Both of them made mad loot, bro. It's all for the money. Oh, yeah. I mean, fuck, I would get knocked out for a couple mil, you know what I mean? He never sees stars. He saw dollar signs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like Scrooge McDuck when he gets knocked <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking awesome. I love it. But, like, you don't really see boxers or even, like, a Jake Paul or Logan Paul or any of these guys taking MMA fights. Because, like, you take a I'll MMA fight, a fighter and throw him in a boxing ring, like, 75% of his shit is gone, though. Right. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. that fucking grabbing and all that yeah, shit yeah, right. is, like, out of the window. Yeah. So but it goes vice versa vice with versa, boxing. Right. Because right. you can just take someone right. down and their fucking night's over. No, I know. That's why I'm saying they're not going to do it. Because, like, now when a boxer goes into the MMA ring, they're already lacking 75% of what right, the other right, guy got. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's like so the it's, opposite. Yeah, it's like yeah. the opposite. Two fights you could look at. The Mayweather-Conor McGregor f- boxing match mm-hmm. and the James Tony randy Couture MMA match. James Tony fought Randy Couture. That. Uh, that was like circa early 2000s. Randy picks him, boop, takes him to the ground, fucking finish him. Right. Super fast. Right. Fucking Connor took Mayweather to the distance. You know what I mean? So there's mm-hmm. still that, you know. Right. Holyfield lost to Vitor Belfort in an exhibition match. So there's still that give with the MMA across. It's safer right. for MMA people to cross over to boxing right. than the other right. way around. Yeah. Because it's the, you know, Connor and Mayweather could. Grapple, it's a wrap. It's over. Right. One kick to the legs. Right. As soon as you yeah. open up kicking, it's fucking yeah, done. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. 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 It's one. It's a no-brainer. Money. Dude. But Conor McGregor was already kind of a good striker, right? Right. right. So, like, it's 
not a hard day's work for him to <coughs> box me with it. No, None I, of them were in any real danger of getting fucked up. Well, right? think about the nine to five, like every day leading up, the training camp, right? Mm. All you're doing is training for boxing. Yeah. You're not going to jujitsu. You're not right. going to wrestling. You're not yeah. cutting mad weight because boxing has a lot of weight classes. Right. Fucking UFC is like good example is the gaps are bigger. Yeah. The welterweight <clears throat> to the fucking middleweight is 15 pounds. Right. Then from the middleweight to the fucking light heavy is fucking from 185 to 205. That's a big, yeah, big a human big, yeah. being. Yeah, 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 it's a, yeah, that's a different guy you're fighting, right, you know? So right. boxing, I, I believe it goes up every 15 or 10, 15 pounds, and you got another another. I like belt. that, though. Get more action. Mm. Well, guys mm. like Diego Sanchez would have had a better career, in my opinion, if they had a middleweight class or John Fitch that they could fucking right. get in there and actually be a champion. Right. Right. Sorry, I like... I don't know. If I, it, I yeah. fucking grew up watching boxing and shit. You know, I never did. I grew up watching Ninja Turtles. We didn't go to church. <laughs> we watched fucking Sunday night fights and like yeah. HBO boxing. <laughs> yes. No. Boxing after dark. Right. Showtime, showtime. We had that little cable box. You, you you flip the back and you get the illegal cable. A B A B switch. Yes. Yeah, 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 we had yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black box. <coughs> In fact, that's how we watched our first UFC with Hoist Gracie. The little fucking switch. Yeah, buddy. We got this shit for fucking WWF back in the day. Yeah. I got to say, I think Matt feels guilty about his comment. He just texted me. He said, sorry, bro. I meant it like you looked super young in high school. I don't even know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> I feel guilty about whatever he said. <laughs> we still love you, Matt. Yeah. <coughs> I like how you read his text on the fucking air. Well, it buzzed. It hit my thing. I thought maybe I had to like one of those chill messages. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, you're talking about fucking combat sports? Got you all fucking riled up. <laughs> it does, right? Doesn't it? Yeah, dude. Don't it, like, don't you like kind of clench and like, oh. Like when you see like, yeah. especially like when dudes are on the ground and they're like grappling for like dominance and shit. You're squeezing with them. Yeah, it's like, <coughs> ugh, and then like when you, someone gets it, and it's like there's like a release. Yeah. But my favorite is fucking so women gay. MMA. <laughs> <laughs> women MMA, yeah, I love. To women see them MMA is fucking like super awesome to watch because they can't fucking like they can finish each other, but it takes a while for them to yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. get it. And, like, their transition, it's always an exciting fucking fight, right, bro. Right, I love right, right. watching women's MMA, dude. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I wrestled for five years. Yeah? Yeah. You did? Yeah. No shit, where? Come here, man. Oh, yeah, what? Me, 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 yeah. Fucking shout so, out. Imua. Yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> so when MMA came into play, I was like, fuck, I used to go to camps, like, Greco-Roman, toss what? guys on their head. No shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You thought about getting into MMA? Nah, no way. Oh. I leave this for the streets. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You want to swing? Here you go. Yeah. Personal defense. Personal yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it myself. I'm going to play the role. Yeah. Mm. Especially around the nightclub life, dude. Nah, nah. I'm older already now. i got to stay home watch my granddaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them for the young kids. Quiet life. I know. Nowadays, yeah, nice. different on the streets. People got guns. Oh, you got to come strapped. Yeah, that's what's fucking yeah. dangerous, man. I'm play the role. Ain't nobody gonna fucking gonna bang. My, yeah, my family in the mix. You gotta be. You gotta stay. Go play the role. You don't even yeah. get caught. Better yeah. to have it, not need it. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Be smart about it, though. You know what I mean. And that's a touchy subject with a lot of people because, like, guns in Hawaii was always culturally a no-no, right? Right. But now mm, it's the younger generation that's coming up. That's like, oh fuck. They don't know. They weren't raised with that, so they're getting guns off the bat. Well, they're seeing it on TV and all that shit, and yeah. You know I mean, so it's like a different mentality around it. Right. It's more laxed. It's not about like. Well, and defense. fuck, you can like three D print guns. It's like way easier to. It's like the shit that's happening nowadays didn't exist in our right, time. Right. Right. Like right, if you've right. seen a gun, it was like, oh big trip, fuck, big trip. get it away from yeah. me. I don't even want to be around it. Yeah. Like, well, I was a pussy yeah, growing knife, up. The, the <laughs> knife was a. Uh, the, the most drastic most thing nuts, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. And even then, like, you know someone had a knife because whoop, everyone was scattered. Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. that guy's got a knife. Oh, He's shit. A Filipino guy. Guaranteed, yep. You know? Guaranteed. I mean, nine times out of ten, hey, you know. For real. For real. Not even being fucking no, it's about fucking, racist about it. And then uh, homie Chris um, from North Shore, he's, uh, he's a security guard by trade. Black belt jiu-jitsu fucking is completely a good example of how he should be with a gun. Like took the classes now he's right. all into the safety and he's how he approaches jiu-jitsu and the repetition he does it's fucking like safety of the gun you know what i mean well 
here's since we're talking about this, and we, I know we were talking about it earlier. Like I was saying, how like a lot of hip hop heads are like introverts and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer this call on live. Who's that? Who's that? My girl. She's tripping. Like FaceTime kind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Where you stay? Yeah. Hey, show me. Prove yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Newspaper. Yeah. I like see the date. Yeah. That's what I said. old. We get curfew and shit. Oh, what time is it? Nah, early. eight. Early. I'm not even going to do this. Yeah. Before Gun now. safety is fucking important, yeah. man. Yeah. That's yeah. an all underrated thing. Oh, Bubble Beat them. They all, all conceal and carry to get their, to get their license. You know. Killer. Yeah. Yeah, got them. Yep. Got them. Yep. Got them. Yep. In case something happens. Guarantee. Something. But here's the thing, like I was saying earlier, how like a lot of hip hop heads are introverts, they're kind of shy, right. and maybe do you think that's like a deterrent? That's why there's not like people don't want to go out now more so because nah, not the really. potential so. of shit it, popping off. I don't, I don't live my life thinking something's gonna happen around me. I just yeah. live my life, but I'll be ready if something yeah. happens. Right? No, I don't. But like a lot of it's, shy yeah. hip hop people, because a lot of them are like, oh, "Fuck, I'm just gonna stay home then." <laughs> right, right, right. right. Well, then, you chose, then, you, then you chose the wrong trade then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah that's true. You're going to be out and about. How are you going right, to be on right, stage? Right, right, right. right. On, in front Inside, of people. In your room. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to be on stage in your room? Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> let's let's, let's zoom. zoom. <laughs> yeah. Hey, great minds think alike, brother. Oh, another successful clap. But yeah, like, right. those are the guys who make the beats. Yeah, they just like be in the background. Like, right. no need to be on stage. Right. Don't call, no show, tell my name, nothing. I'll make right. a fake name. All right. Nothing wrong with There's that. There's a lot of guys like that, actually. Right. Um, light sleepers. They used to do a thing called, like, Beatsa, where they would just have, like, local producers come down and, like, play their beats. It wasn't, like, a battle or anything. It was more just, like, a fucking session. Like, mm. they'd bring out their little thing. Some would play them live, and some would just play shit and, sa- you know, do Samples. mix shit live. Yeah. But um, And then they would just order a ton of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Beatsa. Shout out to light sleepers, man. Shout out to light sleepers. No more brick and mortar, but still available online and at most Hawaii conventions. Oh, yeah? yeah. This weekend, Kauai Con. I'm trying to get Spells' his ass on here, too, man. Tell him come. I know. See, that's a, that's a prime example of what I'm talking about. Shy hip-hop head. Yeah. Oh, well, do, well, why don't you guys do, like, a hip-hop thing right over here? Like, on, right inside this warehouse. It's like a show. A show, like a little oh, shit. underground warehouse show. Ooh. Well, like, when we have... Musical guests on like it would yeah. be super cool to have just yeah like perform li- guarantee like yeah. we had um red sh- carpet area red carpet yeah. oh that's now nah, go make the kind of astro turf I was talking about yeah oh. yeah yeah make your own grass grassy be, area or grassy be dazzled on <laughs> oh shit some tinsel on your fucking yeah, astro yeah, turf yeah, yeah. Oh. glitter <laughs> yeah, uh, everybody going with glitter everybody getting busted yeah, hey yeah, 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 yeah. by you fucking get glitter all over you. Uh, no, that's the podcast, I promise. No. Come here, Everyone knows you're high. Yeah. Everyone knows, Everybody you're, knows you're high. Everyone knows yeah. you're yeah. dipping your feet in the strippers. Yeah. No, but yeah, we had Struba and Pono on from um, Roughneck Posse. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. And they oh, fucking no. played. We had the ability to like play music through the yeah, shit so we could hear it. And when fucking we, did that, when we did the thing in the outside with them, I was like, bro, I was stripping. I just started my doing my DJ thing with Waco. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, these guys are on the next level. Yeah, that's all they do. Bro. Skate, surf, hey, and fucking it. mix, bro. I play trip. music, and I, I know Pono from because I'm, I'm a painter. He's a plumber, so yes. I see him on the job sites and whatever. Oh no shit! Yeah, killer. So, yeah, and I knew him <laughs> when he was with um, couple system. Couple system. Yeah, I mean, not these roughneck boys. These young yeah. the roughneck boys is all like, kind of rubber dog. Yeah, yeah. rubber dog kind. Yeah, it's my style. But cool, the boys like the Paco guys is they're trying to get us to come and like dancing. Like no way, we're not. We're not, we not. That's not the type. Like yeah. cannot. Yeah. Can I just spit off yeah. the top of the head? Oh, they can, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's not the same. It's as not the same. I yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Cause they can they do them all day, every day. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. It's a, it's, it's, it's not hours, bro. Off the dome, like whatever they see. Yeah. Like, especially right. Struba, mm-hmm. bro. He's so good because he can strip to rap. He can strip. Strip. He can oh, strip. Oh. To stick. Sorry, it's been a fucking long day. He can stick to like rapping, and then he can go straight into like vocals. Right. Boom. Right. Boom. Right. Back and right. forth, right. and like. Fucking Pono, like, <coughs> he's got his little vibe going, yeah. And, ah, Kupa Kanaka. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He, this guy used to fucking surf with his model on. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, bro. He's yeah, yeah. Crazy. He's sick, bro. Yeah, Fuck bro. it. I see, how I met them is at the Manana Skate Park. 
Yeah. To be honest. It's like, oh, who are these guys, bro? These guys just fucking, especially Struba, bro. That guy can fucking How old is he? Struba young? He young, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 30s. 30s, maybe. Yeah. Okay, he's good, bro. Yeah. Good. No, definitely. Shout out. It's the Manana water. Yeah. It's the water in Manana. I got one of their posts. I seen them on IG. Of them guys performing over here. They got me on a major fucking photo bomb right in the background. Yeah. Like, Rob, Photoshop me out. Yeah. Nah, just <laughs> out stone. Everybody knows you're high. Everybody knows you're high. Blown when off. was the first time you ever got high? Mm. Do you remember? Can you tell us that story? Yeah. <sighs> high school, 10th grade. Nice. Me. Keku. <laughs> nah, the performing arts. Me and John Tejada. You got me, John. Oh, first and last name. Yeah. <laughs> got you. Uh, John, I've never yes. seen you since then. <laughs> no. Well, it kind of freaked me out. I was yeah. in a private school. I didn't know what to fucking feel. You know what I mean? I was like, I got to go Haleola. I feel sick. And Did was, you I, do it in school? In school. For oh. the first time. Walk into performing arts. I said, fuck it. Let's do it. No Wrong shit. move. Wrong move. So you had to like, what performing arts classes. What is that? Like you had to get it up in front of people? No, 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 no. Oh, it was walking through the performing arts building. Yeah. yeah. Going to, fuck what I had. I had Hawaiian. Me mm-hmm. and John was in the same class. Couldn't make it. No Hollywood shit. Straight to the health room. No shit. Sleep it off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell busted? the school no, nurse? Or you no, just I said, just I don't feel, feel well? I don't feel well. It was unlike me. You know what I mean? Right. Fuck, I stick to, I stick to the drinking. Stick to the drinking is better. No shit, yeah. huh? Yeah. So then later on, later on, then when um, Bob Marley came into effect, uh. then I started smoking and I could hear the music. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And how old, when, when was this? Yeah. Like how long um, after? Mm, seriously, 19. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, a good while after. Yeah, Solid yeah. three years of just nothing as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Just the drinking. Fuck party, doing everything. Growing up. Oh, yeah. I coming, coming from the west side, fuck. We see them all around us. Yeah, We yeah. went dabble. We, we did our thing. Oh. So you in grad from Kamehameha? Grad, Kamehameha. Nice. Good to see you made it all the way through, bro. Ooh, one of the lucky ones. One <laughs> the lucky ones. <laughs> and then, do you remember, you have like a story of like the first time, I mean, other than that one, where you were somewhere and you're not supposed to be high and you were like, fuck, everybody knows I'm high. And like, oh shit, you kind of paranoid, yeah. that paranoid feeling. No, said. because growing up in my house, um, when you turn 18, you're good. Or you graduate from high school. So I graduated when I was 17. Mm. So it was it's on. One year earlier. Yeah. My parents was real firm about that. Once you turn of age. It's on. So no everybody shit. knows I'm high. And oh. I don't give a fuck. That's how we roll. So no never, shit. Now you never yeah. had that feeling yeah, so, of like. So that, Dallas was here. I was like, for real. What we do at our, in our house ain't normal to do. Normal people. Oh, no shit. Like this, this, we herb. Like mm. this. Yeah. Tutus. You guys know we burning. Go on the side over there. That's yeah. how we roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're medicating. Right. We're at that point right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how. And that's how. That's how. That's how that's, it's weird. But it's not for us. Right. You know I mean? right. So that's how we grew up. And it's slowly we, changing, too. But it's, it, it's, it's on a good moderation. Like, it's not, like, blowing out of proportion, but right. we good. Bro, I heard something fucking today. A, a customer came in, and it was, f- like, super fucking inspiring. He's like, bro, this is one of the coolest 420s ever. I was like, how so? He's like, I had the family over. I had a brisket going. I had one um, gindai going. And, bro, it was just burning. And I was like, hey, that's pretty interesting because normally when you get something like that, the uncles is always drinking. Right. You know what I mean? They're pounding all right, the way right. to the end. But now it's like, better just smoking. Yeah, but it's 420. Right. right. But it was, a, it was a family gathering in Hawaii where beer was not involved. It was not the main. Right. I didn't even realize it was 420 until I seen I was going to just ask. Everybody knows you're high. Everybody knows you're high. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's 420. Go. I never realized. Bruh, you guys have any like 420 rituals and shit that you do like for 420? Like, nah, I'm, I'm fucking super high. I'm not. I'm not a um, ritualistic person. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, mm. I just burn. Yeah. I mean, I'm every day, day. Is 420. I, I, I really don't care what the name of the weed is. If it tastes good for me, it gets me there. You know what I mean? Yep. I, I work, so I need that productive one. Like, when I go home and sleep, rest my head. Right. I need that one too. Right. That's the fucking, that's a, the basis of all consumer, mm-hmm. you know, idealism is fucking, 
does it get me where I need to go? Right. Right. Does it? Or does it? My time. Right. And does it fucking? I don't care the name. I don't care right. what everything right. is. And that's that's not the place for the name. Right. What the medicine is what fucking counts, right? So right. it's like I need to be active during the day and I need to go sleep at night. Right. You got that one-two punch. Right. That's where the medicine is. Mm-hmm. Let's just identify that and just right. call it as is. Right. Let's not make overcomplicated right. well, shit. I, I don't dude. care how you break them down or whatever it is. Fuck no, right. no, mm-hmm. no. You're. It, that's how every consumer should approach right. cannabis coming in. Like, hey. Does it fulfill my fucking needs? Right. What fulfills right. my needs? Right. I don't care about the name. Right. Just tell me about it. Right. Yeah. No. I'm at that point in my life. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Shit. I wish no, that was I'm okay. wasting my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I need. What and I want. your money, too. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, Fuck. right, right, right. You're paying for it's what you, you, you're getting. Yep. Cheap. <laughs> you like on cheap paint job. You expect on cheap paint job. You right. know? Good work right. is expensive. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The saying good work ain't cheap and cheap work ain't, ain't good. good. Yeah. For real though. Yeah. Ain't not lying about that. I'm really fucking high, bro. Fucking super high. Yeah. I for, like I was forgot why for a second. We just That's that just fucking high. syrup milk and that fucking mushroom. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I was like, why? Oh, like, I, was like, I, I was like ready for tap out. You know, <laughs> one like, joint ago. Joints? I was like, but oh, then oh, I got man. into a good spot, started talking and yeah. fucking right back. And that mushrooms is giving that good fucking yeah. conversation, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 So yeah, for the I'm folks at home, we ate. I'm to the earth so I don't spin off. <laughs> you're okay. Yeah, 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 I know yeah, it took right. forever. You just grinded up that joint and you yeah, put down yeah, your yeah, grinder. I'm and high. Said, and I'm looking <laughs> at it. I was like, can I? I'm con- <laughs> contemplating, can I fucking do this or not? That's what it is. Like, can I? Do cut, I have cut. like the? Do I have yeah. the amp, you like, a break. dexterity to do you this take shit? A break? Right but am I going to take batch and break and not come back? No, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no need break, bro. I'm just saying like, yeah, I might document this shit for science. Take it a minute at a time, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't in no rush. I don't know. I'm just doing this. Fuck, you don't know how to roll it. I'll take it a minute. Yeah, we got nowhere to go. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me, guys. Hey, thanks for Fuck yeah, on. thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. Right, right, right. Dallas J, what oh, up? Oh, <laughs> where's the guy? Couch yeah. is comfy, yeah. son. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's still waiting. <laughs> These entitled kids and all these. Oh, He'll be man. 21. Fashionably late, though, we call He'll be it. 21 in May. Oh, yeah? We, and I'm performing out in Vegas, and he wants to go to Vegas yeah, on the 29th. Oh, so. 21 in Vegas, dude. Mm-hmm. He's been, he been hollering at me about that. I'll go Vegas, lad. That's like the rite of passage for a 21 year old, too. Right. It's so fucking perfect. It's like, oh, yeah, let's go to Vegas. It, yeah. But you know what? Like, turning 21, is it anything you haven't seen? Right. He's been living the 21 life since he was 15. <laughs> so. That's what I'm saying, what the dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going to be fucking sorely no, disappointed. He, he can when actually win full. when you're playing. You can't get busted. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Now you got to pay taxes yeah, on that yeah. shit. It's like right? gamble. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. cool. I can get He's that. He's a stony. That's all you do is stone out. Yeah. I mean, what a perfect time. Like, fucking Vegas was super illegal when I turned 21, so all you oh, could do is drink. Wide, now it's wide open. <sighs> That's what I heard, bro. Oh, yeah. Haven't been in years. Is it good? Is it good or is it not good? Mm. Have you heard from anybody how it is out in Vegas? Because they're kind of the recent. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's good. Yeah. Mm. They're recently legal. That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I haven't even been to a legal like a legal rec state yet, but I'm gonna be going to California in June. Oregon, Ooh, kind of Oregon, Oregon is the place. Oregon's good. Yeah. Is California just like kind of like over it? They had it so long, it's kind of like yeah. shitty. It's like it's all over it's, the place. Yeah, it's, right? it's downhill right? already. It's, it's, it's everywhere. You Oregon, gotta make friends Oregon with the cool. fucking farmers and go out to their farm. Well, no, I'm gonna be doing a family trip, so I can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. Hold up, mobile podcast. Out there. Not gonna be with my mom then. Step out for a few. Mm-hmm. What part of California? Southern. Like what part of California? Disneyland. Oh, San okay. Diego. Oh, that's, a, that's the good part. Yeah. A whale's vagina. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm as high as a whale's vagina. <coughs> Fuck yeah. Yep. Yeah, those gummies are perfect, man. I had like four today throughout the entire day. It was no way in hell can I feed those gummies. Dude, it was awesome. Yeah. I'm good. I'm just fucking playing videos. Okay, get up, sweep. <laughs> People walk in, just talk stories. It's fine. Yeah, but you got a job that's conducive to doing that kind of shit. Yeah, it is. It's not a job if you like it. It's not. You're right. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. It's an occupation that I love doing. So what? what's the next step for Dallas J? Coming on this podcast? Dallas, what's your next step? Fuck, I don't, really, uh, I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. 
We have what would you like to see? More, more activity. Like, yeah. Shows yeah. and stuff? Nah, just more work. You mm. Music. Content. Content. Uh, yeah. Viable content, not just any content. They just don't throw everything out. Like, mm. Some of these songs I feel is like incomplete. It's like a minute and 30 seconds and like, where's the ending? Got you. He has, he has a couple of them. Play me. But that's that's my own opinion. I'm, right. I don't, I don't knock his, his ways. I just... The, the long money on it. That's what I'm looking at. Yep. Him yep. looking for the... He's a young kid. Like, you just see Bing, the shine. cash yeah, in, yeah, cash yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In and out. At yeah. what point is it work and what point is it artist expression? Uh, it's got to always be like artist expression. You know I mean? At what like, point like, is like, yeah, it's always work. I got to put this out because it's work, yeah. but I want to make sure it's a full reflection of me without taking away from each. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah. I put in this work, it might take away from my whole, my identity on, on the work. You right. Know? That's why I got to be real. Right. 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 At all times, 100. Right. Right. I mean, just always trying to speak, speak of your life. Yeah. What you went through. Mm. I mean, not, you know, not detailed, but just, you mean. Of the subjects you lived yeah. your life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, Have like, you seen artists get burnt the fuck out because the, the passion turned to work? Right. Yeah. All the time. Yep. Let's see. And all the time. You know, whatever happened to Molino? They're, they're still in Maui. Yeah? Yeah. And they're, they're, Vince, they're doing... Yeah. yeah, they do show, shows with, I guess, not real big ones anymore, though. No shit, Like, no. I Vince went up by himself, the midget one. Mm, 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 but they used to jam, though. Bah, he's talented, bro. Yeah. So I'm at the water park. I was like, oh, who the fuck is this guy? He's just singing. I was like, man, this guy is mean, dude. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing. Like, that was a band that came out fairly recent. I mean, in the new era. Mm-hmm. That was, like, awesome. Right. Like, holy shit. Every Kolo. song. <coughs> right? Ecole wasn't even Ecole. It was Valley Boys back then. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is, like, how you play those songs. Right. As soon as you hear that Down fucking in yeah. Down in the Valley, you know it already. Right. Dun, right. Dun. Right. Got it. Right. Ingrained in our fucking culture, man. Right. Natural vibes the same way, bro. Right. Bruh. Right. Bruh. Unreal. Mm-hmm. I brought a Walter's my uncle, so. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. Oh, shout out to yeah, Uncle, uncle Walt. Walt. <laughs> Blessings, Uncle Walt. He's going through some, some cancer issues. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so shit. Prayers for him. Love you, Uncle. Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, I took, Dallas, I took Dallas, Dallas with it, with, with me one day. Uh. I was I was booking some gigs for him uh, before COVID, and just Dallas never know, know who the fuck was Brad Walter. Right. I found out that day though. I was like, "Wow, Walter is me now." I was like, "Brad, this is a legend. This legend, the Godfather of Joanne Reggae." Right, right. It's your uncle. It's your uncle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No shit, yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's the shit that, like, when yeah. I was little. He'll be oh, here, man. bro. Oh, yeah? Maybe I tell him come true. For real. Here's he. Get my cousin Harold. Shout out. Happy Hawaiian. Get yeah. his daughter, uh, granddaughter's party on Makakil on Sunday. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Thursday. Yeah. If uncle wants to come oh, down. Uncle, that would be cool. sick. I did, I did some shows with Uncle, bro. Like, oh. Yeah. Blow my mind. Talk Playing about VIP someone who's seen it all, yeah? Bro, get some videos. Like, I look at him to this day, like. Fucking Uncle Walt is a man. No shit. Bro, small little <laughs> venues, 140 people can fit. Bro, fire marshal come and shot him down. No shit. Did he the ever man. tour like outside, like and like get no, bigger? Really. Than... Oh, he's he's always been like piggybacking with Manal Company. Mm. He mm. never had his own band. Island Afternoon. He gotcha. Had, but Unks is. He's on his own level. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, he's on his own level. I love him to the dead, though. Fuck, dude. Yeah. That, that's an icon, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. read out names. Like, I don't want to tell April. I mean, I want, but mm. it's an icon. And, you know, is mm. everybody that falls into that genre right. in that time right. period. Like, he's relevant with them. Right. Like, Guarantee. Guarantee. That's it. Guarantee. I got, I got blessed to have fucking... Time with him, mm. you know what I mean? mm. real time. Right, 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 right. And like the knowledge may, you know, right. may not right. seem like he passed on anything, but there is a reflection that's been yeah. passed on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's humble in the music. You know, yeah, I, I, it's in the blood. It's in the music. You, hey, you that you that bad, but you're so humble. You know what I mean? He's right. he's never he he never flinched on being mm. humble on Walter. You know? 
Right, right, right. There's no dollar amount buy him off. Right. He play because he loved the music. Yep. Mm. And fucking that's what's up, yeah, bro. That's what's up. Peru. Everybody should be like that yeah, nowadays. But, yeah, yeah, but it's not in the in the real life. It's not. It's yeah. not gonna pay your bills. No, no, no. way. Yeah. Music game, you look out for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First and foremost. I bet it's pretty cutthroat too. Yeah? Oh yeah, guarantee. Mm. Fuck. Guarantee. It's very guarantee. stressful. To each his own. Yeah, you, you, you like dog eat dog world out there. Yeah. I appreciate your manager because he's you. You're the guy doing the fights, right? Right. You're the guy in the trenches. The right. artists just right. focus on their fucking right. work. Right. Yeah. Right. That's your job. That's it's a my tough job. life, cuz. Yeah, yeah. Let the artist be an artist. Yeah. Right? And to yeah. absorb all of that shit that the artist would get, right. and fuck, dude. Um, Appreciate your dad, man. Guarantee. That's a lot. Guarantee. It's a lot to carry. Guarantee. And multiple bands, too, right? right. Not only fucking, right. not only Dallas J. Right. Tuaku, that's been Kiki Dem, Monkey Allah. Because I love music, I was doing them like. For for a while, for like just basically free, but I got the link. I got a dirt cheap electron party. I got the, I got oh, the yeah? hookup. You know? Oh, there you go, man. That's all, I just was doing just for, just for the music. Mm-hmm. You know? And it, and looking now, I, I've been on the stage, like fucking being in backstage, now on stage. Hell yeah. Man, stage fright is a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> stage fright is a real thing. Good thing it was COVID time, so I was wearing a mask. You know? Right. You can huddle up in the oh, mask. Yeah, yeah, put my yeah. hood on, put the, co- put the fucking mask on. Good, no and shit. It, and then have the uh, the plastic things in the front. So when you stand on stage, the plastic reflects, so you cannot you can't see the crowd. So I'm like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Everybody's just staring at you. Like, no, I can't yeah. do it. Wow. Stage fright is real. Yeah, bro. and that's a fucking cool like fear that people have to conquer, bro. Right. It's like stage right. fright. Right. Fuck right. it, dude. You're right. up. Right. You up? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Bro, oh, Baba, Baba did the Hawaii's finest. I was like, bro, that's one of the biggest settings I've seen Bob's playing out in a minute. Oh, yeah. Three, oh, it was like 3,000 people front to back. And I never realized talking to the boys, hooking up the mic and look up. Oh, cuz 900 people just staring at me like, oh, cool, this fuck is packed. I never realized. But all of, Who the tension, oh, man. Even when you're not even ready? performing, are you just on there like, yeah, let's go there. I'm just making the mic. <laughs> Everything on the fuck, you got boom, you trip. Yeah, yeah. Or you knock something ah, over. Fuck. Yeah. I just, I just do what I'm doing. No, no. Focus, focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cable, wait, have a good one. Have a good one. One cable at a time. Yeah. yeah. Me and Bubble get all fucking. Oh, I'll, I'll high five. <laughs> do one before you get on. Showtime. Oh, showtime. Right. You know? right. Imagine those people in like fucking America's Got Talent and like. Right, yeah, but it's fun, bro. Great. I'm not even singing. I'm not doing shit. I'm on the stage though. Right. Yeah. Hey. You're part of the show. You're contributing no, to the fucking entertainment no, factor, bro. Hell yeah. Guarantee. Put a little bit of paper in my pocket. Why not? Right. Doing what you love is not a job, man. Yeah, guarantee. I'm getting higher and higher. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> For real? It'll be over in about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> I don't even want to smoke that. I'm not even, like, ready yet. <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. It's tr- crazy. I'm getting, like, stage fright just uh, sitting here. <laughs> beedle, yeah. beedle, yeah. beedle. Yeah. I was like, I'm surprised it hasn't gone off. This shit's broken, bro. So, <sighs> take a minute. But no, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys see like Max uh, come all the way, Max Max Holloway? Um, it's we're gonna try and get Yancey on if he Yancey, wins his yeah, next yeah. fight. We'll get him on again. Get him on if I he mean, loses not his if, next yeah. fight. Not if he yeah. wins, whether well, or not he all, wins or loses, whatever it is. Yeah. He's a friend I'm of the show. Sorry, right? man. Yeah. We we Shout we have con- side. we have confidence. You're gonna win. Yo. That's tomorrow, yeah. But I don't want to jinx it and say it and be too cocky. You know what I mean? I want, I want the homie to fucking win. I want right. more so be safe. No injuries. Right. Everything is fucking smooth. You know what I mean? You, or you're going back painting houses again. You go home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another painter. You go home to yeah. your family. Right. Fucking unscathed. You're good, right. bro. And then fucking we'll go talk story and see if right. you want to do this again. That would be fucking awesome. Right. I was going to say, because it's going to come out after the fight. So we should just talk about it as if like what we think happened. Like, oh, what's me and I in round two and fucking. Nah, 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 I don't want to jinx nah, it, bro. Nah, nah, Fuck nah, that. Nah. Superstitious when it comes to that kind of shit. Superstitious? Right? And only like I, I just don't want any factor to to be anything that I contribute negatively to. Yeah, don't throw it in the I air. I guess don't, I am don't superstitious. Throw, don't yes. throw it in the air. Right. Get, don't say it out loud. I won't. Don't speak it into existence. I won't speak it into existence. <laughs> there you go. Right. There's a lot running on the writing on this shit. You know, mm-hmm. like it's his debut in Bellator. It's a fucking mm-hmm. big fight. That dude's a fucking Rep the animal. West boy. Right. Rep the West. Fucking. I mean. No doubt he's gonna do what he does because right. the competition UFC is was steeper, bro. Right. The people he beat, 
better than that guy. And I'll just hopefully the Yancey shows up and the Yancey takes over, bro. And fucking. Is this happening here? Yes. No. At where? Blaisdell? Yes. For real? For real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, I didn't know that. But I didn't know that. Inima gonna fight. What? And, yeah. Tomorrow? No, nigga. Not tomorrow. Bro, you can't use that word, dog. I use it AJ all the time. Oh, sorry. I don't think you guys can use it. Don't call me dog, bro. I'm not an animal. Yeah, you are right now. (laughs) You're acting like a real P.I.G. Hey, Alapico. He's on. What's up, dude? Not tomorrow. Last week, Saturday. I think it's... Last, last Saturday. I think it's... um, Because we're talking to people from the future. Oh, I see where you're going there. No, but no. I think it's this weekend. Saturday. I think it might be this weekend. I missed it. Bellator. Bellator. Is this their first time in Hawaii? Third, I believe. What? How yeah. did I miss this? I mean, I heard he was fighting Bellator was, and all that shit. On Instagram. I, I didn't know it was yeah. Hawaii, bro. Wow. Good job, Hawaii fighters. And get Hawaii fighters in auto fights? Uh, most of them, I believe, yeah. That's good. Yeah, dude. That's I mean, shout good. out to it, Bellator coming down here and giving us the fucking time of day. You know? Know. Right, right, right. She. Hey, shout out to whoever the city or state who allowed it. Who gave them the permits the and shit. And yeah, shit, whoever yeah. the fucking... Well, Hawaii's MMA was always fucking there. You know, even when, like, UFC kind of died out. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we had, like, King of the Cage. Tom Murphy does everything, though. Yeah? Yeah. Shout out to that guy, dude. Fuck yeah. He cornered it. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, King of the Cage. King of the Cage. Rumble on the Rock. Um, And those are Hawaii promotions? Or those are, like, Hawaii promotions? Oh, that's good. And a lot of, like, Robbie Lawler fought in that. You know, fought on Nico, Jason Miller. A lot of fucking talent, dude. Right, right, right. I mean, a lot of guys that turn cool. on the Hall of Famers, bro, came out of Hawaii. You know? I'm sure crazy. it's probably sold out already, right? Guarantee. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. But you know what? Going to that shit. Hawaii fighters fighting in Hawaii, Bellator. Well, going to be pay-per-view too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I believe so. Televised. I don't know. Pay-per-view, televised, though. Yeah. Like free TV? I don't fucking nah, know. I don't think so. Well. Oh. Yeah. Got to have show time or yeah. something like that. Right. No. Yeah. Right. I get you get ways Ooh, to get. I get ways free to get. TV. I get ways oh, to get free fucker. Showtime. Don't insinuate anything, man. You know the box where you go click. No, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, know. I held on to it. No, see the statutes of limitations on that technology. Oh, fucking old. totally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ain't nobody catching me from that. Ain't nobody using that. Your shit don't work no more. Fuck it. <laughs> what's cable TV, bro? Fuck and that. I don't have stream cable. everything. Yep. Stream everything, dude. Mm-hmm. I feel Why bad. Or I just gotta be. Charity. Or I just find it on my phone. And I feel bad for Joe Moore. You know, like, yeah. Ain't nobody watching you yeah, now, dude. No, You're on no. the internet. Well, I can personally say, listen, no, never mind. That's not Joe Moore. Never mind. I lie. You know what's crazy? Remember, like, on like a Sunday afternoon, you'd watch like. I do not lie. I listen to Joe Moore. He's on AM eight thirty at six o'clock. They play the Hawaii news. Right. Yeah. That's and I listen to it on my way home in traffic. But there's no like news at six. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There's tons of news at six. But no one watches that shit anymore, Fuck. man. Fuck. Every old person watches this Exactly. Shit. So, like, when we're young. The parents watch the one at five and then like six and then nine and then ten. Hawaii stars, fucking <laughs> the news, Wheel of Fortune. You know what I mean? Like, every fucking hey, Tineo, Sunday Tineo's night. on, on, on one of the shows. I don't Who's that? Singing Tineo. On what? That, on one of those um, the singing Hawaii shows. stars. Um, I guess the new one just came out. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Like one of the competition shows? Yeah. I was talking about like Kimo Kahuano. Not Hawaii Karen Stars. Oh, like a bigger one. Like yeah, Idol or something. Idol. Like, 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 oh. like, yeah, Hawaii <laughs> Stars. I was talking Hawaii Stars. Do you even have Hawaii Stars anymore? No, yeah, they, we no don't have Hawaii Stars. Done. But I yeah, remember no. like fucking. Wow, my friend Chase Schmidt, he used to win them all the time. No uh, shit, fuck huh? That you not. I remember they went one, one guy, he sung the Star Spangled Banner. I was like, wow, this fucking guy. Got the balls on that guy. Cojones. Not even Hawaii Pono Year or something. Same as Star Spangled Banner, you <laughs> son of a bitch. But you know, it's cool. Um, the UH Volleyball, they, they allow all this um, local entertainment like Kevin and um, Pukalem from City Boys. They sing the, the Star Spangled Banner and Hawaii Oh, Pono no Year shit. Before the games. Nice. The local yeah, artists. Local artists, artists yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah they give them the, they give them the show. Yeah. Well, Killer. Televised. Exposure. Exposure, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's only right. About, it's do. about time. Yeah. Mm. And but you got to have the people in the right places who make those decisions who think right. like that's, you know, because there are other people who might hold those positions later who'd be like, fuck those guys and like, like right. a, whatever, can, whatever. Everybody got to eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck? Sure. And there's local dip into the pot that's in front of you other than outsourcing yeah. the same kind I'm of fucking music. Yeah, you know, you right. Give me something. And my, my ancestors buried in these grounds. Bruh, this is my fuck? fucking home, bruh. Right. I mean, let me make an income here. Right. Yeah. Please, give me some. Like, what do you think about uh, Hawaii Pono'i being 
sang before the national anthem. I have no really yeah? care about that kind of ah. issues, yeah. I don't, like, I'm not really political. I'm not political, but I do believe in like giving credit where it's due, and Hawaii should be acknowledged that we had some fucking bullshit happen to us. Right. So us. They acknowledge it, but no. Clinton apologized on behalf of the U.S. government. They didn't do love shit you, about Clinton. It. Didn't do shit about it. They didn't exactly. Do shit about it, but they said sorry. But if you have like a flag at any it. school, you know, it's Hawaiian flag first. No, it's well, American flag. No, I know, but would you prefer? Yes. Oh, that's kind of a righteous. I'm sorry. A radical. No, no, no. It's no disrespect to anybody. Hawaii. It's just acknowledging Hawaii as this. They were, we were an established nation. Like, right. Acknowledge that just by putting it up there. It, we're not denouncing anything. Right. We're not trying to fucking be offensive in any way. It's right. just like it's Hawaii. give it the respect. We're here. This is Hawaii. That pole is planted on Hawaiian soil. And mm-hmm. just give it a little bit more respect and right. keeping it half mass while the American flag is up at the top. You right. know what I mean? Right. Right. I, I don't want to be an anarchist in any way. This is just my fucking personal views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I mean. Like, what about two poles where they're equal? Yeah, I'm, I'm game for that. You know, it's just there's always the American flag always sits above or supersedes the state yeah, flag. Seems dominant, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, the, they, I don't think I, th- I don't think you can get away with that shit. There might be like a federal law against there that is. shit. Yeah, there <laughs> about is. flying another flag yeah. higher. Like w- when we used to work, we could. When you take down the flag, it couldn't touch the ground. Right. So you'd have to stop it two thirds of the way down, start folding it, and then bring it down. So it couldn't. It's actually illegal for it to touch the. Flag no, yeah, down. yeah. I mean, there's protocols, but I mean, shit, that yeah. shit touches the ground all the time. I mean, dude. What about the ones that are people plant in the ground that fall over? Those are touching the ground. No, but that's not like a flag pole. You know what I mean? Like uh, where you there's hoist a pole in the ground. You hoist the flag and you do the know. you salute it and do all that shit, right? Yeah, no, dude, trust me. Know. This is in state now. It's this so weird where we have it, with the American flag where there's so much laws and reverence and protocols about it, but then it's printed and put everywhere in the most disrespectful way sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? On merchandise and all this shit, and just kind of like bastardized. Right. And then you buy, like, say you want to, like, do that and put all your American flags in your yard. Where the fuck you border them and where does it come from? Made in China. Like, yeah. what the <laughs> fuck? Like, yeah. every... American yeah. flag should technically be made in America, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Just an interesting fact. It is, and that's. I mean, that's splitting hairs on more of a deeper level than fucking Split. hanging it in half mass. China's you know? flag, America's flag, then Hawaiian flag. Oh fuck that! <laughs> never. Fuck that never. <laughs> It'd be a cold Ooh. day in hell, bro. I'm sorry. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you found yourself. Did you like find I felt yourself? it happen. I felt yeah, it happen yeah, during yeah. that conversation, but I felt that at one point earlier. <laughs> I fought through. Yeah, Snack yeah. back to reality, yeah. Just need a spirited conversation. I'm excited, bro. For playing into this, I, I haven't played with Walk in a minute. Yeah. So next one will be next month. What venue? What is that um, coming up? What is the date of that? 28th. Because this will probably come out before Friday. then. 28th. Friday. Yeah. Um, okay. May. May 28th. Yeah. 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 So Where at? At work. Um, Fre- Fremont Country Club. Vegas. Vegas. Oh, in Vegas. Yeah, oh, buddy. Shit. We got any viewers or listeners in Vegas? Go check it out. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Tell everybody you know. Ten Support feet. local. Ten feet. Yeah. Ten feet. I just surfed with Josiah back in the day, dude. Way back in the day, man. Is That's this for idea. some sort of like Hawaii festival or some sort major of like? Major Asia. Asia. Up in, they're doing a in major. Hawaiian, in Vegas, yeah. Is this the first time they're doing that? Is like a thing? Yeah, I guess, I guess he... To my understanding, don't quote me on it. I think he yeah. bought he bought that country club here. What? Whoa. So he's trying to try something. I Making guess. Donald Trump moves and shit, buying country clubs. Shout I'll, out to I'll, the I'll Hawaii I'll boys, I'll man. Verify, verify. 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 Somebody yeah. fact check that. Yeah. No. <laughs> but fucking, that's cool. Is it like on the same time as the Hawaii one? Like, are they coinciding? No. No, the major rage is this major, weekend, major, huh? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, this gonna come on after that. Come on after It's next month. We're giving tribute. Yeah, yeah. Now, next month next it's coming month. out. Yeah. This will come out before that. No, the major rage here yeah. on Oahu yeah. is this weekend already. Yeah, it's not yeah. coming oh, out until birthday that. bash. This birthday weekend. bash. Oh, birthday. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. My, bad, my bad. My bad. I'm getting all confused. Yeah, his yeah. venue. Yeah. I'm getting all confused yeah. about the birthday bash, major rage. So you get to go to Vegas to perform with Pac. That's yeah. fucking dope, bro. And you, you're regular performing with them? No, no, no. I, at one point I was. Yeah. Oh, so you stepped away for a little while? Because now he's back to full, full band, yeah. Ah, so at that time right. was COVID, so got you, got you. 
lot of times oh, bless me with um, shit. show me how and i'll just watch and learn oh, fucking 100 it's gonna be a blast bro yeah excited <laughs> fucking i give my bike back yeah. <laughs> oh that's gonna be fucking fun though then, man okay, we'll be able to build the music a little bit more for me come a little bit more of a show mm. so we gotta go rehearse a little bit okay that's awesome yeah. oh, fuck man. is that it it's gonna be outdoor then i'm assuming yeah because uh, it's, we oh, have an indoor outdoor we'll take it where we can we get it right? say, cause it's a crazy thing and i wonder like what really matter i mean i'm sure it affects it and i'm because we played at the carnival and we played at republic and for hawaiian brands it's all the same yeah but no i mean like in a weed legal state in an outdoor festival that's different now you know yeah, what i mean like yeah, holy yeah, smokes i could do this all stone guarantee yeah. you can smoke i mean you don't have to like way. i mean people smoked anyways it was yeah, kind of like not really a thing but now it's not gonna be a thing. Like people gonna fuck it. Oh, sometimes when I stone, I'm playing with the boys. I like, just hitting that effects, just doing my horns and that's just in my own world. And right. everybody, you, you look up and everybody's looking at you like, oh fuck. Yeah, How I many times you go to a concert and you feel like, oh fuck, I gotta smoke this joint real fast? You know what I mean? Now yeah, it's yeah. like I always do that. I hit them, oh, hit them. Yeah, get ready. I got to. Yep. Mm, I got to. I'm not gonna lie to myself. Even like when you go to fast a crowd, guy, not gonna be fast guy. In, you, you get your I, session. Yeah, huh? I get the session. You kind of <laughs> rush them. You know, get right. You know? Got to get the head right. Yeah, got to. Take a time out. Take a pause for the cause. Yeah, just for the cause. Is that crazy how far we came, though? Like, in right? what way? Like, from the beginning of this podcast or the beginning of time? No, that was a fucking far one from the beginning of this podcast. It felt but like, like a decade ago. Yeah. But just like in concerts in general, right? No. You go to a concert. You, you want to sneak in some joints. You want to smoke and enjoy the music yeah. and shit like that. Now it's a thing. Now it's like, I guarantee you, Brian, like five years, there will be booths. Wow. Oh, it's already, I was, at, at one point I was promoting. Right. So we was bringing um, uh, the CBD, all the kind of guys already. And at at 604 at, on, on um, federal ground. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And this is like two years ago. See him. So, it's mean, gonna it, be to the point where like, all you gotta do is just follow the rules. Yep. That's all you do. I mean, don't get, don't get crazy about it. Don't get greedy. Some yeah, people get greedy yeah, and yeah, they fucking yeah, push yeah. the envelope and then everybody loses. Yeah, everybody loses. Right. Let's do it right. Mm. <coughs> that's what I, you know, Hawaii too. Like that shit in Hawaii, man. That's gonna be a fucking game changer, especially in the, the music scene. Mm. I want. I'm gonna go to Birthday Bash and I'm. I'm interested to see how cannabis in Hawaii has changed the crowd. Like, I want to see how many fights, not, you know, knock on wood, hopefully there's none, but I want to see how many <laughs> fights, how many of it's alcohol fucking induced, how many people are fucking burning in the crowd. Because, like, the last concert I went was Damian Marty fucking ages ago. And people were burning. Yeah. But it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. I'm anticipating fucking everybody <coughs> just going ham, dude, at the fucking birthday bash, so... We will it, see. It really depends, I think. Yeah, the security. Right, right. It's got have good security. Yeah, yeah. I hope they leave people alone. Like yeah, especially give them the area. Lead. Yep. Okay, go over there and this you guys area. Don't be fucking mingle all in this area. You stay over here. Do you guys think? Right. I mean, the only thing I can think line. of is like you're still just smoking, and if their rule is no smoking, then uh, no matter what you're smoking, they're I gonna come over. Smoke, so where am I going? I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's pretty easy to spot out the where the clouds are the coming chimney. from. At, yeah, where yeah. the chimney at? Yeah, poof! Oh shit, yeah, there it is. Yeah, nah, speed. you gotta get that smoke, buddy, dude. Uh, oh shit! Or you gotta just like retire to like the he's side. Gotta, he's gotta wait till the, 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 the lights go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then you safe. And then when it turns back on, there's just like a mist floating yeah. above everybody. Stoner right. hack. See how you got a fucking flannel? I do have flannel. Crumple it up in your fucking hand and blow into your fucking hand. You smell like weed. You can smell like weed, but you're not going to see the smoke nowhere. Right. Smoke can just dissipate into your jacket. Right. Right. So that's what I've been doing fucking for years. <laughs> the hoodie. Just hey. grab my shit. Put an arm. I ain't dry sheet inside him. Yep. There goes the smell. Hey, now you're thinking. Yeah, about then I, I mean. I just worry about the right. smoke <clears throat> tracing to me, you know, like right. blowing out a cloud and like, oh, fucking. You got to constantly guy. be on the move. Yeah. 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 Excuse yeah. me. That's usually probably why you get sometimes you get random joints handed to you at those concerts because somebody's trying yeah. to ditch it and run from security. Yeah, but, <laughs> but when the, the it's still daytime, I gotta give the back, 
look around first. You don't, don't be careless. Yeah. You get caught up. That's where the vapes come in handy. But even like right. if it's no smoking, it's no smoking. Yeah, that's the thing. If it's they're gonna bust you for whatever the fuck you're smoking, whether. Right. Disneyland was interesting. Everybody's on edibles. Yeah. I was on fucking edibles off my ass, but uh-huh. I did burn. But and I fucking like 007 burned that shit. Small little dube. Just fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold him in. Boom, him right in. into the fucking, the, what you call it? <coughs> Star Jungle Wars Hulk. exhibit. Jungle River. <laughs> Rain's Is there no tattooing. smoking at all in Disneyland? <clears throat> uh, not at all. Yep. They can't even vape. There's no, like, smoking section? Nope. You can't vape. Not in. Cigarettes. Not in. Not in. A bunch of yeah. Nazis. Oh, I'm never going to Disneyland. Yeah. And, and the rides were breaking when I went last time. Oh, fuck. Catch a case. <laughs> Dude, fucking an hour in line, and you can oh, you see fast the pass fucking them. dude fast pass. Got him. That, that, that was fast get, pass, bro. For real. Yeah, waiting. What? Oh, dude. Why is it called fast pass? Trying to remember all this. Fucking for real. But you see that the regular line, like Indiana Jones, all the way out. You just gotta oh, find shit. ways to enjoy the shitty rides. Well, like, it's this one it, is awesome, right, guys? It the, was awesome yeah. as fuck, bro. But like when we got there, like I could see the entrance to the ride, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, we have to shut it down. It's broken. <gasps> Mother fuck, dude. Well, good thing you never get on it and die. I mean, how the fuck is mm-hmm. Indiana going to kill me? You know what I mean? It's a the, fucking... The Jeep's going to go off the track and it's not going to... And it's going to drop me in three feet of water. It's not going to get out of the way when that ball rolls and it's going to squish you. The ball's foam, dog. Could fucking throw it in the air like 20 feet. It's foam, so it doesn't weigh 18 tons like in the movie. Yeah, it weighs 45 it probably, pounds. Yeah, like, I'll fucking true. put my hand through it. <laughs> just push it out of the way and it bounces yeah. right over the tram. <laughs> no, but... Fuck. Hey, shout out to Small Kind High for giving us that fucking edibles. What By edibles? Way, what edibles? Dude, okay, fuck. There's... <laughs> Hit me to that shit. Those are my favorite. Thank yeah, you. you're still recovering. Um, Mike has the fucking holly brownies, dude. We fucking ate a little bit of that shit. It's, Is it's that the, what those... Lollipops or fucking best one. Hold on, I'll get it. Are those lollipops infused with anything? Yeah, everything's infused. Are they strong? Um, I can't get I any know. higher. I think. No, I'm not gonna. Not for now, but I mean, like, I like just. A, I don't really dig edibles. I don't know what it's gonna take me. I don't yeah, like I that feeling. I fucking really enjoy it. I had a couple bad, bad fucking batches. Like I fucking thought I was gonna drown. In so I've never like, seen the devil as the. A seventh other gram per bar. Oh, man, fuck with mm. that. What about those little lollipops? Whoppy pops. Just try that. I don't want to eat it now. I got fucking shit to do tomorrow still. Oh, like early in the morning kind. Same. Nah, but. But I'm still going to do it. Because it's so then you eat delicious. it. Not right now. Just, I, right, you know, we're not allowed you, to eat on the mic. Any, yeah. any graffiti artists? We know a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right there, right? yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think that's We're, the consensus, bro. Already is tag that wall. Yeah, make one accent it right that point. Start, start something. Shout out to Marco, the fucking uh, graffiti artist, man, the oh, legend. Man. I'm stoned. Oh man, so we usually roll a gigantic fatty before we wrap this up. That's usually like a three paper or something, man. Okay. I don't want to do it. You fucking I have it. <laughs> it's pretty the much ritual. the ritual, bro. <laughs> We've done it twice. Okay. It's the ritual. Maybe thrice. And I don't know if that considers it being a thing Well, yet. BET like, left, and we fucking we finished it. Just us two. No, yeah, but that was different. I didn't take mushrooms. Like, I'm really feeling that shit. Like, and I, I'm feeling that roller coaster effect because I'm, like, <laughs> not good again. Oh, yeah? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really put tap out earlier. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, here we go again. Damn Mike's it, like, thank it, God it, I didn't it. fucking listen to Kalei. Maybe I can <laughs> just, um, like... Fake my way through this one and nobody will know, but here I go talking about it. No, you're fine, dude. <laughs> Mellow. No, yeah, maybe. I don't want to eat that shit. What were we talking about? <laughs> what were we naming again? That fat <laughs> joint. No, I don't want to. Uh, whatever. Fuck. I would take a couple hits. My ass, you take up a couple hits. Dude. You're fucking smoking that shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance for anything that happens tomorrow. It's the guru. Well, no one from work is seeing this, so don't no, worry yeah. about it. Is there anybody on there? King Remy's on here. What up, King Remy? He wants to jump on the podcast and, and sample. He's a vet. Maybe one day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. So after the Vegas. How many episodes? He has actually, I was trying to find it. What's and um, he has like a handful of episodes, I think. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's been doing it for a while. Killer. Um, hey. Quality control on streams and shit. They're like testing out stuff. 
grabbing it from dispensaries. Uh, oh, yeah. I checked it out. I checked it out. QC. Cool. QC. QC. Dude. That's <laughs> yeah. important. Yeah, it is. Giving, like, just honest talk story reviews of what, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. You know, that's a fucking, um, it's, it's good therapy, bro, for, like, a grower to, and, like, I put it out there, fucking, if you guys got any strains that you want to phenol hunt and just have a bunch of random dudes <laughs> fucking go through your strains, bro, bring them down. We'll have Bud Naked over here, fucking take nice pictures of your work, um, whatever's the keeper. Bro, honest reviews. And as a grower, it's a fucking ego check to have someone smoke your work and critique it. You know, like, oh, this one tastes like shit. Like, ooh, that's a kick in the nuts, bro. Like, <laughs> you really got to fucking, you got to take that one on the chin because, bro, it's a tough pill to fucking swallow. Like, right. oh, shit, that was six months, bro. But you didn't like it, so all right. <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah. R&D. Yeah, Eric? R&D. You've been good with For your science. data. You've been good with your data. I've been reading your papers. I was like, oh, shit. Better. I tried better. You did good. Yeah, I was a horrible scientist last time yeah good thing we had a lot of people <laughs> bro we did the phenol hunt the one before this last one and i totally didn't even realize there was a second page of like scoring and shit to do and i f- i was like proud of myself I was like yeah fuck yeah did good i fucking filled it out <laughs> got too high mm-hmm. that's okay but that should have happened on this podcast right right we fucking just we you know the floodgates are open during this period of time that we're here talking the art of conversation. So Bam. what's Baba B would be on good on come over here. Yeah, bro. Fuck would talk it you off. Let's go, yeah, cause can talk and talk it, there's yeah. so much to talk to him about too. Cause yeah, man, guy, yeah, he's been bro. around, bro. He's yeah. that's another fucking legend in the music game. My name is Classmates. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, what year? Ninety three. No I met shit. Baba B at fucking Explorations fifth grade. Whoa, <laughs> oh, he's an old kind. Friends, yeah, a long time. On about a days. My son is on his his newest album, uh, My Love Story. Is it on the title track? Is that out now? Um, almost all. Of, that's just the title track with Dallas. We didn't release yet. Oh, Bubs, hurry up, Bubba. It's moving your sweet ass. <laughs> so got the majority of them out. That's a thing though. Now people like release just yeah, singles. singles at a time. Yeah, Nobody's like, releasing like full yeah, no, no, albums. No, no, no. no. No more no full albums no, already. No, 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 no but why not just EPs. Yeah, but why not just save up all your singles and then get them all ready and then Nobody release confidence. Them? I think and it's probably more profitable just to release the single, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just drop all your all your killer ones and because these guys got so much music, right? Like, it's so they're so um, in on what they like release, so perfectionist kind. Yeah, of, yeah. So, that's good though. Yeah, that's good. But everything is good. You know what I mean? Like well, yeah. Like, it is. Like, but real, if you st- real, real. if it's stifling the re- like I don't know like yeah it's just feel like just save them up get them all like, like what, however you, what many. are you saving it for like get it out we get it over. yeah why are you releasing well why are you doing one at a time like right. just right. put uh, that's mean, the new thing I guess I feel like they like make videos a lot too now that like, it goes hand in hand it yeah. goes hand in hand you know people want to see the face that the song they like right you know they want to see a visual mm. effect too so that's kind of key I think. That's why it's cool with my my stepson and my son. You guys get the whole package. You just do them amongst each other in house. Yeah, yeah. Is this stuff on Spotify and like yeah. iTunes yeah. and all that yeah. stuff too? Yeah. Okay, because I found them on YouTube. Yeah. That's why I was, I was. And some of his stuff he got done. It's already finished, and he's just being lazy. Like, mm. It doesn't hurt to put it out already. Right. You know what I mean, right. so why isn't it out? And on to the next one. Right. Just stay relevant. Get stream. Yeah. Just. Yep. Let it get streams. I mean, sooner or later, you can get that paycheck. You already got his paycheck. He knows. All right. Yeah. You That's motivation, paid. right? You already got paid. Shit. So, you don't get paid some more. Get it. Get it. Hang on, trust yeah, he works, so, Like, me and him, he, 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 likes, he likes to burn and just getting that vibe. He can't burn too much, though, when he's, when he's working. Kick him out of the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah kind of I'll kind of pause him. I know when he's, he has enough for it. Like, happy him, medium. He, yeah, he's trying to just work. And he's trying to... <clears throat> He's just thinking too hard and just burning, burning. Oh, fuck, I'll cut it out. We're working. Yeah. yeah. How did he get his start? Like, how did he Do you writing or are you doing work while you're burning instead of burning while you're doing work? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <clears throat> Cruising with the West Side, non coolie fucking hoodlums. Just, mm. just listening to beats and just rapping. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then bought him on, his mom bought him a little fucking 
don't go to worry about the microphone that you go in his in his closet and and he would press the button and close the closet door and do his rap and record like that and mm. he fuck growing up he's watching Kaipo mm-hmm. you know I mean Daniel mm-hmm. all, the, all the boys do, they all jamming he knew I was the answer like, come on dad I ready no nah, get your ass in school graduate from high school play football plenty right. of time for that rapping yep fuck a rap they don't they ain't gonna pay the bills and get your education back in back in the day something to fall back on man right right are you watching me <laughs> you watching me all these years? <coughs> well, he's still a good kid. Work. Yeah, yeah, he's a good kid though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, some of the kids they, they do. Is that they how they recorded yeah. that shit in like home in their house? Yeah, right in my house. All that shit. That's yeah. all like YouTube and shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, wow. And, but some some. Of them, I thought it was like studio kind. It's like wow. Nah, yeah, I'm not good. Christian. Shout out to Christian. He he, he used to go go by the name of 4K. Now he goes by Chris. Oh, yeah, I seen that 4K point. on fucking um yeah. one of the YouTube videos. Yeah. And what they who makes their beats? Who makes his beats on it? Yeah. The same all them. Yeah. They, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, they're working. They're working. So yes. yeah, Christian he sells beats. Like, fuck, he, makes, he does his work. Mm. I mean, That's innovative as shit. Right, 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 right. That's a hustler. Yeah. How do you get a hustler? You find your niche, whatever. You don't even do your thing. I, I, I ain't judging. Yeah. Money fold the same way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Money We're coming up with t-shirts way. left and right, huh? Uh, print it. Print it. But that's one of the things that's great about the technology is that it's possible to do it at right. home now. You don't need right. pay for studio right. time. I mean, you can get some decent equipment for a decent price on the internet nowadays right. and just right. fuck it. But mm-hmm. you, 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 if you're going to really, really do it, you got to get the real one. Yeah. Yeah, don't yeah. Fall, don't, don't you get what already, you pay for. Right. Don't, get, don't fall short out the jump. Get right. yourself in. I don't know. My philosophy is a little different. My dad probably uh, nah. set it up, but it's like that. When you're starting off, you gotta work your way up to right, like the right, pro right. shit. Like when you're an amateur, you kind of have like the top shit because you're not at that level yet. And I get the philosophy That's very of like I'm stepping I, I, up. I, I'm a I'm a firm believer in look good, feel good, play good. You know what I mean? Perform good, mm-hmm. right? Perform good. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, whatever it takes, right, to get that 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 attitude. It, and that's exactly right. It sets the tone for right. your standard of performance, right? Right, right, right. right. So know your you, worth. Know, know your worth. And if you buy a half ass shit, then it's like, it's okay to fail. Right. Oh, uh, I didn't, eh, it gives me an out. You know right. what I mean? Like, ah, right. uh, that's why it wasn't the best, because it wasn't the best equipment. Right, right, right. Rather than, right, hey, right. no, Get fuck that. I own my own business, so I know what it takes. So right. What I needed was on Killer Pump. So I don't go get the killer one. Exactly. I never cut no corners. I like down, because that fuck going to make me money. Right. And, you know, like, even, like, starting off, okay, what pump should I buy? Oh, let's go right. get the cheap one. I would start off with a Home Depot. Right. X, X7. Right. That broke in, like, three weeks. Right. Overusing them. Right. But that made me enough money for buying a smaller model, killer one, though. Right. Yeah, and even if you're buying the small one, right. you can try to buy the best, best brand. Right, yeah, right, the, right, the most right. reliable gotta, one. Right. Get your money's worth. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get on temporary one because you need them permanently. Right. And, you know, like, for, like, say, a recording artist. Right. I, I need a studio work, right? I, I want to put out the best because let's say I fucking fall flat on my face. As a human being, I want to be like, that was me. It wasn't like, oh, well, I didn't have the best equipment. That's why I sounded shitty. Right. You started fucking formulating excuses well, of well, why you fucking well, we got to a short. point where I told my son, what going to take for you to get to this next level? Like, what you need? The dollar amount no matter. Because right. you said opening up for Rick Ross, Tiger. All these guys. Killer. I didn't ever get no calls. What's going on? All this did and grandma at the at, at the concert mm-hmm. deal. What's really going on? How come the emails nothing coming true? Right. He told me I need this, this, and this. He got them. Boom! After that, okay. bingo. Yeah. Started moving. That's perfect because you reinforce his fucking worth right, by right, getting right, the right, proper right, equipment. Right, right. Now, hey, sorry boy, there's no excuses. Right. You talented. You right. have the right equipment. We're moving. Make some fucking magic. Right. Yep. Yeah. I like that philosophy. Give him a shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. The give best shot, shot possible. Yeah, give him a real shot. Right. Mm. Ooh, I have Just something else. Hold on. But the boy good, though. Huh? The boy good, though. You're good. Okay. Yeah, you good. I'm thinking of it more like if you wanted to start off with doing BMX shit, you probably shouldn't buy the top-of-the-line bike right away. 
Like you can work your way up to that. As you get the skills to match the equipment you have, that's when you kind of step up. It's different in this kind of recording stuff because you need good quality equipment to get good quality sound, whether you're at that level or not yet. <clears throat> but I was thinking more like that. But that, you, yeah. you guys make a good yo, yo, point. Yo, 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 your material got to gotta be worth it already yeah, from yeah. the gates you know because that's like my thing too like glam and color that motherfucker yeah. better be right right <laughs> like when i first started playing the drums and part of it was kind of afford top of the line right. shit you know what i mean right. so it's like you start off where your levels that i'm learning right. so you get a basic as right. you get better you start replacing right. shit get right. higher it wasn't a livelihood stuff. for you though right, right? I, 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 I mean I, I wanted to skip that step for my son's struggle in life fuck yeah. we just get that good and you know what thing gonna work yeah i seen where he was gonna where he could be his potential if this is gonna cause him not to come here right now, yeah, any kind of I'm like deterrent. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, let's move it along. At the time, we thought like this could maybe be a thing we could do, make a band and play music. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't know. Nobody really had. None of our friends had that full on drive. I mean, Jesse and them did. Our, one of our friends has a band now, but yeah. the rest of us kind of just were like, Fuck I don't know what happened. I really don't know. I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, it I've was been, like I've work. been around all these guys and just, just making playing music mm -hmm. like that was a livelihood for 30 years mm -hmm. like they make their money off of it like not me fuck i can't see that right but, right you know. it's a lot of pressure bro oh yeah hell yeah staying hell fucking yeah. fresh hell yeah that's staying relevant rough, bro it's pressure. and being in the public yeah i you know yeah. i mean being a public figure in that right. sense my cousin glenn wong from maori that guy's bad bro he's in a public eye this guy mm -hmm. making money off fucking doing cover countries. You know what I mean? Mm. Crazy. Like, Uncle Walter yeah. told me too, I want on Hoku singing other people's songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, it's true. Crazy. Huh? It's what? Because what, that person said was good. Right. Hey, huh? Yeah, I wonder how many Hoku's people won with Fuck original. A Fuck a Hoku. No it's shit. fucking political. I've heard that a lot, yeah, actually. Fuck, yeah. Did you really? I mean, I've heard it. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't I, know for sure. Per, I, personal I remember experience. remember fucking Bubba. Bubba was at the Hulk. Was, uh, Big Boy in Love was a uh, hit song. Mm -hmm. He's going to win this fuck up. My friend Dino. Dino knock on fucking Troy Fernandez's is fucking um, brother in law. Right at the Hulk. Was fucking 86. Fucking fat cat's gone. You oh, mean a shit. Bro, crazy. Crazy. For real. For real, cause. <laughs> real life, cause. Fuck Will Smith, bro. He ain't got shit. He ain't got shit on the West Side Boys, cause all the fuck, uh, all the, all the kupunas, they all yelling at Dean. Dean is like, I was tripping. These guys was carrying me out. Oh, shit. That's fucking blackball ever since. This is fucking 25 years ago. Blackball ever since. Yeah. <laughs> fuck a hoku. Don't even submit. Nobody. Hey, Paul can't even play at my ties. Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking burning weed over there. Got busted. Lifetime ban. For real. For real, cuz. At my time. Lifetime yeah. ban? Lifetime ban, bro. Never wow, ever. That's a harsh, bro. Harsh. Kinda, they not that bad. I mean, fucking we didn't even that bad. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking artist, man. Let him do his thing. Yeah, yeah that was like an old band, too. This is like fucking so old, old, old news. Why they just hold in a garage, I guess. Is my time still around? Yeah, they new survived the man. corona pandemic. No, they closed down in their real And they were no problem. Uh, they being subsidized by somebody something. or something. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. Um, go watch um, it's that fucking group, the Waiwa group. The, oh, fuck, I forget the name, but we go watch them. It's the same thing, the stage and yeah. some band playing. Same concept, girls with short skirts. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it sells. It's just a pause during the pandemic. It right, didn't like right, rebrand right, or anything. Right. Nothing, nothing, nothing <laughs> drastic. Right. Right. Yeah. Not even a paint job. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, same couches, same right. fucking right. upholstery. Right. The stage is just a little bit bigger. <laughs> More lights. And get plastic. Was it in Waiwa? <laughs> hmm? In Waiwa? It's not like banned from oh, Waiwa. Yeah, yeah. I was like, dots? No, dots. No, no, no. <laughs> so well, my, son, my son was lucky. He got to, he got to perform at Mai Tai's with. You know, open up for Baba, Baba and play over there. Oh yeah. In like two thousand eighteen, I think it was. So you got to you got to experience some shit, shit. as a young He's had some stage time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had some stage time just being right next to him. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. You know. Fuck I remember the first time he ever did one. I was like, this is this, here we go. How old was he? Fifteen. Sixty just makes Damn. me sixteen. Like grow up, he told me. I ready for grow up already, Dad. Yeah, you yeah. ready? Hold on to the dreams. Damn, where was that at? Do you remember? 
uh, Wayne Baines. That's cool. Thrown to the wolves, bro, off the bat. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Here's this venue right here. Go for it. And how was his like stage presence? Like he he had to work on it. Oh yeah. He still needs work on it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He, he has to make up his mind on like, what he's what he's gonna be. He cannot be a gangster and a lover. Gotcha. You gotta you gotta you gotta come hundred one each way. Tell that to too short. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's not gonna be that guy. <laughs> gangster and a lover. No, no. He's young, man. He's not even fucking obese to buy beer. <laughs> for real, for real. I think a lot of these artists aren't right out there that's making millions of dollars and driving crazy ass fucking cars and shit. A lot of them are young as fuck. Right. Yeah. yeah. My son, he been touched. He, he he has touched bases with all these guys that making millions. I'm like, well, you don't feed, like you don't tap into their head when you have you have time with them and like. I mean, what pick their here? brain. I don't yeah. think that's a lesson yeah. like, that people learn like, like off the bat. Weed. Like you just get stoned in this. Fuck up, pick that, pick their brain, talk story. Why like, are they oh, fucking yeah. millionaires? How come you get that fat pocket? Yep. Let me know what's yeah. the fucking rest. What you do to get that? Right, right. I it's, remember talking to a guy that had a million there. dollars, right. and I, uh, he was like, "Oh yeah, I that? had a million dollars." I'm like, "So how did you get it?" He's like, "Well, the key was getting it was hard, but multiplying it was easy." I'm like, "Huh, that's fucking crazy, dude." It's like once I had it in my hands and I had that in my bank account. Making moves to multiply yeah, that money yeah, was yeah, way yeah. easy. Yeah, that motherfucker never answered how he got it, though. I don't think he was yeah. going to answer that <laughs> at any point in time. No, yeah, if you can come up on a million dollars tax-free, you could shit easily flip that and make it, like... Easy. Yeah. Right. Right Especially moves. in Hawaii. Right moves. Just right moves. You know what I mean? In, in a rap game in Hawaii, it's, like, it's open market right now. Anybody can set the tone. Like, right, right, right. You know. You got you got, you gonna have to follow some sort of uh, blueprint like the mainstreamer, but find your own vibe. And yeah. there's a lot of meat on the bone, bro. Yeah. The market's pretty big, right. bro. Like, Oznam is old already. You right. know, what I mean? <laughs> is old. And there's a lot yeah. of people that like in Hawaii. They they like the Eminem, fucking wacky genre. Then they like the fucking dirty South. Like Hawaii is not married to one genre right, of right, rap. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's all over the place. you can reinvent yourself how you fucking right, want, right, Brad. Right. Come out and pander to whoever you want. Right. Dude, yeah. Right. But I think now there is like a style that everybody's kind of gravitating towards. I don't like that. I don't that, like that trap. Yeah, the fuck trap. trap. I know. Yeah, mumble jumble shit. Yeah, yeah. drill that, music. That auto. I'm that trying to like sound that young and like tool. I know what the fuck was like. These are they all sound like they're on other people yeah, say. You know I mean? yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like drill and trap music and you're shit. Slurring your words, bro. Before no. it was just like hip hop. Right. You know what I mean? It was East Coast and West Coast, right. and there's like now, underground I'll, I'll, shit. I'll, and I want my son to do more West Coast <clears throat> kind of style. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, he matches that 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 vibe. But he like doing more fucking gangster kind. Of fit, around what sort of fits you? You know like, what I mean? You, you don't fit. You one you 120 pounds. You can't run the gangster vibe. Right. Or a fucking eighty pound girl in front of you or something. Change the change the look. <laughs> well, fuck. Be a lover. Yeah, you're not lover. the fighter. You're not the fighter. That's a better vibe anyway. Yeah. Why would you want the vibe yeah. of a gangster? You're not, you're not gonna hang with me if you fucking be a gangster. Yeah, yeah. like fuck you. Why would you want that? Just cruise, yo. Just fucking. If you're a lover, you get the girls, man, and you're around. You gonna girls. you gonna be alive. And you're cool. <laughs> yeah. Don't beef with nobody. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you choose that path, man? West Side. West Side lifestyle. That's all it is. Out. Get used to. It. That's the norm. Right. I always have to tell my kids, like, our normal is not normal. I mean, yeah. the way we was raised, our normal is not normal. Right. right. And a lot of them, Hawaii in general, like yeah. a friend's house, like you yeah. gotta like re- recognize. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaii in general is like it's not normal here, bro. How our dynamic of our families are, fuck no, yeah. bro. Normal U.S. You know, person in the fucking U.S. be like, wow, is that how you do shit? Mm. Yeah, dude, that's how we do shit over here. So Hawaii's not normal. So it's like when people's like, hey, fuck, we don't follow the fucking the template of American family. Pff, mm. Nobody does at this point. bro. Mm. Like my fucking household now, it's not normal. You know what I mean? Right, but fuck, right, it's cool. Right. It's comfortable. It works, bro. Work. Yeah, whatever works. Yeah, this day and age is yeah, different now, fun. bro. I'm not going to shine from nobody else. There's no wrong way. No, yeah. No, no. You ready to launch this or what? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Enthusiasm. Yay, it's weed. Shout out, Marco. I'm on, a, on one of those low points again. Yeah? <laughs> Aww. It's like weird, like. Yeah? Yeah. Did you eat anything today? No. 
some regular gummy bears, nothing like fancy. Well, you should eat some small kind high holly brownies. No, did I? It's fucking, dude, that's the best one I've had. If it wasn't medicated, this bag would not reach you guys, dude. Had some mini Oreo cookies that were the equivalent of probably like one and a half regular Oreos. I got some Oreos at home. It's going to get demolished. (laughs) I say that every time in this podcast. Like, oh, dude, Jack in the Box is going to get fucked up tonight. (laughs) Yeah, something like that. Absolutely. Ugh, fucking late night shitty eating. Ugh. Gross. I'm trying to stop that, though. I'm trying to do, like, plus if you're vegetables. Gonna, and plus, if you're going to eat, like, late and then go straight to bed, that's not healthy either, right? No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like throwing up the next I, day. I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah that's, like, how, like, late night lifestyle is, right? right? The last thing you do before you go home and go to bed is eat. So you're always, like, eating. Yeah, brush my teeth, floss, everything. Right when I hit the bed. Mm, I'm go yeah. I will snack on something else. <laughs> <laughs> what else get? Yeah. And it's always like the worst possible thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, oh, fuck, I want mango seed. Like, right, oh, shit. Right, right, you right, all right, stuck right. back in your teeth. You have to floss right. again. Yeah. Crazy. No, but yeah, that's not like healthy at all. Of Just course not. anything. I don't think, I think even if you chose a salad at Well, it's a better alternative. Like, you know what I mean? You got munchies. Like, Ruffage. I've been eating fucking f- like fruit and vegetables instead of like fucking candy and, you know what I mean? Like the normal shit. Mm-hmm. Like chips and stuff like that. I mean, like... Potatoes are. <laughs> right. Are we going to get into French this fries. fucking discussion French again? French fries. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying like French fries are a vegetable. They're kind of right. A tuber. Bro. So like Matt said, ultimate cheeseburger. Okay. Mine's okay. with the sourdough jack. No, no mayonnaise. To, no mayonnaise. No ketchup. Back, I'll, oh. Back no. in the day. I, I like them juicy, bro. The ketchup I and the mayo. Bacon, uh, ultimate uh, cheeseburger on the sourdough bread. Yep. Yeah. Extra buttermilk. Yeah. Well, they used to give it for free. Now it's no. like 15 cents. 25 cents. 25 cents. Fuck. Yeah, it's horrible. Are you I'm sure serious? it's right. Yeah. A Every, dollar, bro. But yeah, nothing is as it was back in the day when you could go in with like $2 and eat like a king. Like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. You're actually full? Hell yeah, dog. That's a fucking joint. Yeah, buddy. Did you weigh that joint you posted for 420? Yeah, it was eight grams. Oh, fuck. Did you put that in the post and I just didn't read it close enough? Yes, it was in the <laughs> post. It was like two grams of um, keef, uh, eight grams of flour, and like a gram of like hash rosin. And I'm assuming you smoked that with your neighborhood, your neighborhood, right? My neighborhood <laughs> self. Fuck. Oh, I can feel like paint coming out of my eye. Yeah? Of course, rain all day. I know. You showed up. I was like, oh, because... Was that in your eyelashes? I was like, is that the new thing? I was like, no, that's fucking Is that the right? new thing? I was like, that's oh, fucking no. styling, bro. God damn, I am getting old. I know, yeah. What the fuck? Fucking, fucking baby oil. So the cheesecake has to be the New York fucking, the chocolate chip New York cheesecake. Remember what those? To? No, Matt's <laughs> chiming in on the fucking hella munchies, and I'm like thinking about Jack in a Box. Yeah, I'm like, making a walking Ooh, menu right now. I never really bitch. strayed from like the cheap shit or when I had money, an ultimate cheeseburger. <laughs> like when I was broke it'd be like the two tacos or i'd get like six tacos for three bucks and be like fuck you're just gonna yeah, stuff yeah, my yeah, face yeah, and feel yeah. full yeah feels full that's the bottom milk <laughs> yeah Dip in. and then the sour the fucking the kind was free you know what i'm saying like and you're just like dunk so gross i love it i mean i i did. love it that i hate it you know like I, I love it so much that i know it's so bad for me i shouldn't like, oh, you're going to deep fry a taco. Yeah. The whole thing. Cheese, lettuce, and all. Why not? <laughs> Why not? They're doing stoners a favor. Jack in the Box has really leaned into that stoner The late culture. night munchie menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tater tot sandwich. What mm. the fuck? They have a pineapple <laughs> express milkshake. I'm assuming it's probably like Dole Whip. But still, like, to use that name, it's like, come on, guys. You know what nose, the right? fuck you're doing, man. Yeah, pineapple yeah. Express. Right. Come on, man. Jack in the box. <coughs> <coughs> Doubts the Captain Planet they joint. Really leaned into that stoner fucking late night. Well, fuck, dude. Like, they know their demographic. Hey, dude, can't like, I fault them. Fuck Jack knows what's up. Two thirds of Jack's income came from potheads, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking tea. That's I'm surprised that they actually raised you know their, like, dollar menu. I feel like <coughs> that's something, like, because you know how, like, Costco. And Sam's Club, like those places, have vowed to like never raise the price of their hot dog and drink like dollar fifty. It's like, or maybe in Hawaii it's like two fifty. It's $1. been $1. that way. It's it. they've said they're never gonna change it. Like Jack and Box should do that shit with the tacos. Then 
chicken sandwiches and shit. Mm. Where's your favorite munchy place to grind? Like your clutch. Like if you, if the time, if time and fucking travel and cost wasn't an issue, where would be your place to eat munchies? Um, on an island. On the island. On the island. Like, are you talking munchies or just like stuff your face? Get like. Yeah. No, like to fucking pig Gorge out. Your, yeah, like, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Like dirty, eat, eating dirty kind. Oh. Anything. Fuck, tasty freeze. Why not? Oh. Okay. Ladies, mustard, fries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheeseburger. Yeah. The one on the left at uh, more Makaya. Yeah. yeah, on the left. Yeah. Like, next to Wine Next Yeah, okay. I've had that shit before. It was pretty damn good, oh, man. I was like, oh, mayonnaise mustard. That's a fucking mustard. good. Cheeseburger. That was, was the whole tool. Nah, it would probably be like Jack and a or Taco, ah, fuck, Taco Bell. Yeah. And it's like everything. I actually like Wendy's, bro. Oh, I fucking hate Yeah, buddy. I like Wendy's. I like Wendy's. Every time I go to this one over here in Kunia, it's like never like, I don't know, it's just... They never have like the salads. I was like out of it, and it's just like maybe it's right because you're going the times. Time. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I mean. It's like, could be the, in the morning. Okay, yeah. that was salad. Oh, we're not doing salads <laughs> right now. That's like I like one half one. Like oh, we no more. Like fuck. I like one full one. We yeah, no like, more. Like I, shit. I, I like Wendy's because you can you, know, you know gotta take. I'm not a fry guy. Right? You can change the side. Yeah. You can get like a salad or salad like or potato. Or wedges or, no, that's, or the fruit. The fruit cocktail. I like that they have like baked potatoes and shit, but a lot of times when we, go, it's like they don't have it. It's like fuck, dude. What are you good for? Okay, yeah. right across Kapolei, the, the new homestead by the fire station, mm. like Wendy's. That's the one. Fuck it right there. It's new. That's why the Kunio one. That they're like legacy, so they feel like yeah. We don't need like to, I used to live we don't need satisfied the customers. Fuck there. you. Fuck, I used to be over there. Yeah, <laughs> grandfather being over there, that one. Yeah. That Wendy's. What you like? Oh, the uh, first one. <coughs> Bro, Teddy's Bigger Burger is fucking legit. But, like, if I could sit down and fucking eat, I'd say Danny's. Oh, yeah. yeah diner food. That's a yeah. good one. Yeah, big City Diner. Yeah, I love diners. Yeah. No, because, like, you can get hash browns, oh, fucking everything. pancakes. Hash browns. I like Rainbow. Steak. Rainbow's is good. Yeah. Or oh, Richie's. Or oh, Richie's. Dude, Rainbow's, the, the chili with the fucking uh, the chicken fried steak. Oh, what? Yeah. Fucking forget about it, dude. Polish chicken from Richie's. Me and my wife used to go Lique Lique driving. Yeah. But like we don't eat meat, but <coughs> we just used to order like a bunch of everything and our table used to just be covered with plates of like all the different sides and Side, everything. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah. man. Yeah, like fuck, let's just fucking get everything. I'd be like, we got more plates coming. Like, fuck. It's always good to splurge like that though, yeah. Like stuff for face. Ooh. And like I, I could take it home. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what was good? <coughs> Those fucking buffets like at the pagoda. Not Pagoda, fucking Willows. Willows. Yeah. Close now. That was a yeah. fucking good one. Pagoda is good. Pagoda is good. It's different now, though. It's not like yeah. it changes so often, the Pagoda one. Like, the food is kind of like. Oh, you get the crab. Depends on what it is, like, going on right now. <coughs> you get the crab, but, like, oh, sometimes, bro, that fucker is overcooked, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You get a big crab leg and the crab meat's all tiny. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Open box, it's just small. Yeah, and the Makino Childs was that with the slipper lobster. I was like, bro, fuck this place. Just reminded dude. me of some place. Fucking Todai. Todai. Oh. I like Todai's. Yes. I mean, I had, I'd never been there. Like, I don't eat meat. Then that's kind of more recent. But, like, when we used to eat there, we used to eat meat. Fucking shit, dude. Yeah. Like Sizzler. Sizzlers? Mm. Yeah, I just could fuck up Sizzlers as a kid, man. Oh, you can yeah. eat shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could eat anything was good. Steak yeah, shrimp, whatever. Oh, steak oh, you shrimp. Can eat. Perfect. How the fuck was that? We nine ninety nine. Right. Someone's losing out. You know what I mean? At some right. point in time, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. you mean to tell me you peeled this fucking shrimp, you steamed it, and this cocktail sauce, and it's cheaper? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? And I get a steak? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Till I want to leave, right? <laughs> Shit. Salad bar too? Fuck and yeah. there's tacos at the salad bar? Oh, no shit, I- dude. <laughs> Holy shit, you can make your own fucking tacos. You can make, bam- I remember you beacons. Can make like, um, sloppy joes and everything. Bro, you can make everything. Make your own chili fries. Just do whatever you wanted. Whatever right, the fuck right. was out there. Just like <coughs> going nuts. It was, yeah. was kind of shitty, though, the fucking chili. It doesn't matter. You can do what you want. Yeah. yeah. Right. The freedom. <laughs> Leaving the <laughs> small stomach guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go take a smoke break. Come back in. Round two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck, bro. I remember like uh, my dad would be like, anybody got big doo-doo? Before you leave and shit like that. Like, 
made sure all the kids used the I, fucking I, I, bathroom. Not in our house. <laughs> we, don't want these, we don't want these sizzler shits in our bathroom. <laughs> I did a smoke break at Jen's, you know, Jen's in Prairie. Yep. Jen's. Uncles. Is that new? Is that around still? Yeah, no. Not oh. right now. That's, yeah, um, not right now. that's been, been to Prairie yeah. just so long. Yeah. Oh, right. I just went smoke the other break. day, bro. Jen's. Fucking pigged out, bro. Yeah, fucking good. I heard they put flour in their rice to make you extra full. For real? I don't Ooh. know how true that is, but one of my friends Ancient was like, Chinese I like the salad. Yeah. I like the salad. The salad's salad. cool, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. sesame seed yeah. fucking dressing. dressing yeah. 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 Is it Japanese? Uh, Korean. Or, Korean. Oriental, Oriental dressing right now. That's good. There's, you know what's weird over there? They, they don't have like shoyu sauce or nothing like that. Yeah. No, no condiments. Yeah. It's weird. They give you salt, the Korean fucking the oil. Bit, yeah, the oil, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with oil? It's clogged yeah. my heart. I'm going to sneak in <laughs> some fucking some aloha. Yeah. Well, you can just they like use the bathroom. That's why. Fucking the the pork belly is mean. I always get down. Yeah. Smoke. But they get on purple pork belly. It's it's a marinated in like an ube kind of sauce. That yeah. fucker is major on that grill. Oh. Mm. So I throw them on. I was like, oh my god, bro. I think it all sticky and fucking yeah, crispy. caramelized. That. Yeah, bro. That's oh, the one. dude, that's, that's so the fucking one. mean. <laughs> There's an ashtray over there, Eric. Put an ashtray. I get like air into it. My yeah, sucking in the air. Yeah, heat, yeah, it, heat it up. I couldn't suck hard enough. To you got a survivor man, that I, bitch. I don't know. Like it's, I'm afraid it's going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's good. burning white, though. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I got these short shorts on and my thighs are exposed and I want to burn myself. I love it. Fuck, I hate when I burn my good pair of shorts when I'm fucking <laughs> the hole. This one little cherry just hit them for like two seconds. It's gone. Yeah. So fast. Especially your uh, basketball shorts. Wow. Well, I, I ordered. Uh, I'm a, that's why Dallas name is Dallas. Like, I'm a Cowboys fan. Uh, so I ordered some from like NFL shop. Like I fucking just got one. I fucking surf shorts. Fucking burn them like two days. I have. <laughs> like, like, fucking, it's fucking sick. That. I start smoking like this and you spread it in your legs. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. <coughs> so the little cherry falls on it. Putting towel over that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's my new shirt. Yeah, him over the shirt, put him over here. Always get white. <coughs> Guarantee you always get white feet on it. I burn my chest hairs before I burn my fucking new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hold him up like this, bro. Let the funnel do its job. Bro, you know what I haven't done in a long time is just like lay down and smoke a joint. I never like, do that. Why would I don't you? like in bed, like I, watching TV or something. No, like I don't no. smoke in bed or anything. I, I, like I, I don't like smoking house. when I like <laughs> lay down in, in my room or in my house. No, we don't like, like smoke it. in the house either. We don't smoke in the house. But yeah. I take bong rips yeah. and vape in the house. That's I it. vape in the house. I don't take bong rips. Yeah, now. bong rips are awesome. Yeah, just like just burning. Or like even just like outside at the right beach outside, outside or something. Outside. You know, just <laughs> I don't like, I can, like I, lay down and like I smoke like, <laughs> everywhere like it's legal. Like, yeah, at this time. I just thought of that because I was thinking about like burning yourself on the ash falls. It right. happens when you lay down. Because I used to, where I used to live, it was in an apartment. Have you seen actually. how high when he fell asleep with the joint in his mouth? And it burned his dreads. Whoa! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's a whole joint falling. But like, <coughs> I used to live in a condo and I acted like it was like a fucking pavilion and just smoked the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? And cigarettes and everything. Yeah, I used to be laying, yeah, cigarettes and everything. Disgusting. But yeah, I used to like, like lay in bed and watch TV house. and smoke. It was like comfortable. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice. I mean, single life, right? Yeah. Yeah. My mom still does that shit. It's pretty fucking disgusting, but hey, kudos, I mean, that, mom. That is how yeah, people I came burn from their houses. Non smoking parents, so we never smoked at all. Oh, nah. Yeah. To this day, my mom didn't smoke at all. Killer. That's yeah. what's up, dude. Yeah. You fell into it? Yeah, fuck. Yeah. My, dad, my dad's, my dad's um, brothers, my uncles. Oh, shit. Come check this out. Oh, corrupted hey, by girl. the uncles. Oh, yeah, I'm the corrupted <laughs> uncle, too. All my nephews. Uh, come over here. Let me show you something. I mean, what is, is that, survival? Uncle? That's what it's called. It's called survival. Fucking, you get them all staring into nothing. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's wrong with my kid? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I got him. Puberty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Puberty. Fuck. Uh, like, harmless guy. Nothing to you, Just go. He has on your chest a little bit. Everybody needs that cool uncle to get them fucked up and realize, yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah, you're not too fucked up. Yeah, yeah. got me experience something. And shit. You know what I mean? You're, you're gonna experience something. <laughs> An outer body experience. Yeah, yeah. You come back to reality. <coughs> My lungs are catching crack.
cracks right now. Oh, bro, I was getting cracks this whole session. I haven't been this long in a minute. Yeah? Hell yeah. Fuck, yeah, I'm toasted. We try to do it weekly. The uh, last one, we were super fucking high. I, mm-hmm. oh, I mean, every oh. single one, I'm super hey. fucking Good. high. The thing my son knows, yeah, when I'm stoned like this, I fucking pick on him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no <laughs> way. I'll be giving him jazz. <laughs> Fuck up. Fuck you up. Oh, there goes your gangster card. Daddy just took that <laughs> shit away. <laughs> hey, but he, fight by, he fight back, you know what I mean? Yeah, there you yeah, go, bro. Cool. Now, that would be interesting, all love. It's bro. All love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want to lift his ass up, man. Make sure that yeah. fucking he gets that exposure and right. fucking spread right your up wings, his wings, man. Right up his alley. Yeah. Different, but it's cool different per- perspective, you know what I mean? Right, and it's a different crowd that he gets to talk to. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. these these crowds are really fucking. You know, a lot of them are are into his music, and a lot of them aren't. Right. Now you right. can reach that people that's not right. that might be watching or watching this right. or whatever. Right. Right. So it's appeal to everybody. Yeah, make, make yourself more accessible. And if they look at you like, oh, I like this dude, man. I like the way he carries himself. He's a fucking cool guy. Nine times out of ten, they'll like your fucking music. Right, they already like you, man. Right. Right. Keep keeping keeping that following too, you know what I mean? How are you gonna keep the people you already got? Right. 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 You gotta stay relevant. Yep. Yep. Stay relevant and fucking you know, like when when you fucking have a first impression with everybody else, you want it to be a, a solid one and you put your best foot forward, you know what I mean? So right, 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 fuck right. it. Go on places that will make you feel uncomfortable and right, right. put yourself out there. Claro. Uncomfortable is what makes fucking Makes money. Yeah, and it makes you fucking stronger as an individual, right, bro. Right, right. The squeeze. I love the squeeze. Yeah, yeah bro. Gotta have Pressure that makes diamonds, man. Right. Gotta I mean, have that squeeze. You would have never gotten Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg had and she gone to jail, man. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. a fucking marriage. Dude, how much money those two made together? Right. Martha Stewart and fucking Snoop Dogg. Yeah. And none of that would have came if, if she hadn't fucking done what she did. You know what right. I mean? Put herself out like, hey, I fucked up. But I went to jail. I'm a gangster because I didn't rat nobody out. Mm-hmm. And now Snoop Dogg's like, fuck, I'll fuck with you. You know what right, I mean? That's right, so fucking right, cool right. how that happened. Right. Hell yeah. One thing I think about the beauty of a podcast is, and in this day and age, people want, like, authenticity, right? Mm-hmm. And to know more about you. I mean, and I'm super fucking high right now. <clears throat> Hell yeah. So, yeah, like, Everybody having... Your eye. Yeah. <laughs> Have been on a podcast and like having conversations with people and just talking story about like shit. Hey, this is stuff. my first time. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like, like pop my cherry. Hey. I hope we were like yeah, satisfying. We'll sign you guys back. Hope it's good I nibbled for you, you as it was for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like coming on and just talking story and like letting the people who are interested in your music already see a more personal side of you, you know, more vulnerable maybe. Like, you come on a podcast and you eat too much mushrooms and you, like, grip the table for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, man, I'm just blessed that Bala Daniel from, from Puakwe, he allows me opportunities to do things. Right. I mean, on stage. Right. It's always a blessing. You're ever-evolving, ever-changing, right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. New opportunities come up, fucking right. COVID right. release, now you guys can fucking go. No. I'm, just, I'm, just a, I'm just an arm. I mean, mm-hmm. like, just a branch, just right. in case you need them. Right. You are, but you are still a foundation to so much right, other right, people. Right, 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 right. Yep. Nah, nah, that's the holy. Yeah. Hell, that's fuck, yeah. The brotherhood. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Not if you're on the stage, on the side of the stage, whatever. Hey, you the could holy. be Flavor Flav as a hype man and still yeah. be part of the fucking right. circle, you, bro. Yeah, you part of that motor, you know what I mean? Yeah, the dude. Part. You need that, that engine part. Uh, I mean, like, good example, dude. Who, who was Flavor Flav part of? Public Enemy. Public enemy. See, the yeah. fact that you don't even know that and you know Flavor Flav exactly, and you don't know the rest of Exactly. More dude. people know Flavor Flav than they do Chuck D, probably. Yeah. I, or Professor Griff. Have you ever yeah. heard that name? I nope. never heard that name. <laughs> Professor Griff? Yeah, he was like the one who got kicked out for saying Jews are responsible for all the fucked up shit in the world. And they're like, oh, <laughs> bad publicity. Like, you out, bro. But he was like the minister of intelligence. Like, you know, all the guys marching around on stage and shit. Like, he was like the leader of those guys, the X1s and shit. No shit, yeah. huh? Professor Griff. See, I was never into hip hop when I was young because I used to skate and stuff. So it was always like punk and metal. You know what I mean? And my dad liked Hawaiian music. So that was always fucking relevant to me. But hip hop was always on the bottom of the totem pole. Now that I got fucking older, like, I appreciate what I missed. You know what I mean? Growing up when it was fresh and happening. 
Like now I go back and I'm like, fuck that. Actually was a super good song. And I overlooked it because I was so caught up in what I was doing. You know what I mean? Instead of being open back then. Like, fuck, there's so much artists. Like, mm-hmm. like the 90s. shout out to Spells for opening me up to some of that fucking art, bro. Like, MF Doom? Like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> nah, but the thing for like, I like discovered hip hop through skateboarding. Like the older dudes that were into it and shit. Like, right. there was like two different like schools of skating the metal and the punk rockers which right. i fucking was a part of you know what i mean like i listened to punk rock music i was in a punk rock band at one point right. too but fucking like just the people you you meet and i met through skating like the hip-hop heads and shit and i was like oh fuck right right like ypo you know what i mean the right. tree <laughs> the like tree. people listening the and part, watching who what, are from the YPO, part, they'll know they know the tree yeah ypo there was this one tree where like everybody would congregate Everybody would like rap and freestyle and like, cause you know how like back then, back then when you got a singles tape, it would have the song and then maybe like a remix and then like the instrumental version and shit. Yeah, right? Right, so yeah, like yeah. they would fucking pop, put that, put that in and like freestyle and shit. <laughs> but yeah, See, we never have pop. internet. People do some fresh shit, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without phones and any of that distraction. Right. You can just mm-hmm. huddle right. underneath a tree and freestyle. Right. That's smoke all weed. Right? right? Yeah. Man. Smoke weed. Hey, 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 hey. Imagine if, like, day. fuck, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if, like, the, the timeline crossed a little bit earlier where, like, it became legal when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Imagine what could have came out of that because we didn't have this influence staring at us. Yeah. Like, yeah. what would have came because we would have missed out on so much resources of that mm-hmm. at our fingertips, but all that bullshit that we kept out of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, can you imagine what have came of that shit? And where would be where would we be now, given fucking cannabis was okay back in the day? Because I mean, you smoking, you fucking hiding like you're, you're fucking crackhead. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 right. Now it's like fuck, whatever, dude. Right. I'll, I'll smoke in the park when I take my dogs for a walk. Like fuck right. you guys. <laughs> oh, guarantee. Yeah. What's weird, doing when my kids was growing growing, growing up, I don't allow them to burn. Like, mm. like they was like sophomores in high school, mm. burn around me. I don't. It was cool. I got to know my daughter better. Right. I mean, she wasn't so uptight. We were burning, laughed. I'm sorry. I got a better relationship with her. Whatever worked. My mom, she's in real church going, like, what is wrong with you, son? I mean, but. But it works for me. Right. I mean, we're not hurting nobody. Right. Right. And do that's it. the safest alternative. Right. Right. Everything right. a kid could do or get into right. is right. weed. So now, a little personal question, but, like, as a parent, do you, have they ever got into anything else? Not what I know. I know my boy do lean. Has there ever been a trouble, like a problem? No, nah, no. Nah, nah, then, nah. you know, that to me, it's a successful he, approach. Yeah, he, he as, as all kids, they're going to experiment. Yeah. You know I mean, of he, course. Whatever. Right. For, for the most part, I, I know who he is and I don't see no, no crazy change in him. He's just experiencing a young boy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, he can't even buy beer yet. Right. <laughs> and that's the thing, too. Like, as a parent, you made that, that, that gauge of, like, okay. I know him. I know there's no change in him. He doesn't have a problem. And how much of that do you contribute to being open with cannabis right off the bat? Um, I think it's, it, was, it was more just being open, period, as, as he was growing up with me. Mm. I never mm. hide nothing from him. It was always mm. 100 when he was young, young. Right, I always right, instilled right. that into him. So hmm. always had a killer relationship, more yep. like, on, like on friendship, more like, like we boys. Yep. Sometimes he used to forget himself with a fucking knuckle up. Come here, you fuck guy. I'm not your friend. You remember now? Yeah. 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 Forget you, please. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> There's levels to this right. shit, bro. This yeah, is yeah, daddy yeah. level you creeping right, into, bro. used to do that with me. You know what I mean? <coughs> right. Keep it, keep it 100. Right. If not, he's going to show you. You know what I mean? Right. right. If you're slacking, you check yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It's part of life. That's part of life. Battle scars. Yeah. Man, so it is battle scars. <laughs> fuck, man. No, that's fucking... To me, that's... An, an uh, unorthodox approach as a parent, but in a fucking effective I grew, way. I grew up with five boys in the house. Mm. Two two bedroom house. Right. We fighting all the time. And what you guys had to hide, like as if you were smoking weed, you had to hide. As, it. As, as, after after I was out of high school? No. No shit, huh? No. Not, not even in Grams. Grams would be great right, right by me. Mm. We go with What about like um because they're church going, did they ever have a judgment nah. on that's every killer. So, every so often, I'll, I'll catch my mom in a good mood and take one. She, she take a couple ribs with me. Mm. Oh, killer. Okay. 
I judge Rihanna. That's all. beautiful that she can fucking accept you. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, a lot of people right, that right, come right, from right. A, a religious household is like, psh. Yeah, very stringent nah, on their judge, beliefs. <clears throat> judge man only. Yeah. That's what I call them. It's like, you're yeah. lost. Like, right. Oh, for real? We, we family. Like, why are we going to lie to each other? Yeah. We all we got. Right. I mean, and you're not like, hurting nobody. Nope. That's the not bottom line. I know. I, I'm, I'm a reflection of my parents. You know what I mean? Right. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. Right. Seeing the apple don't fall too far from the tree. You know what I mean? So, right. Well, it, it works. Whatever works. Right. And I mean... There's no, I mean, I don't see any yeah. bad that comes from it. Nobody's malicious, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's got issues. Right. Uh, a lot of the issues stem from fucking people being oppressive. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you don't fucking do that in my house. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, yeah, no, let me go fucking sneak behind your back. Right, dude. right, right. That, who says, who says their, their, their way is the right way? Mm-hmm. Right. Because mm-hmm. you feel this way. That's their house. That's their, that's their right because that's their house. Right. But outside of this, you shouldn't. And as a parent, I draw the line as like, okay, this is a safety issue. Right, 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 right. Is this going to harm you or is it not going to harm you? Okay. It's harmless, then it's, it's all good. If it's harmless or like, say like you're dressing a certain way. All right, I don't want you dressing that way. Why? I want to express myself. No, you're inviting these negative attention, which right. could hurt you. Right, 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 you know what yeah. I mean? So like, that's where the fucking line is. Right. Right. I, I got one daughter. You guys get daughters, yeah. I get one. <laughs> I get one. I get one. I get three yeah. sons, one daughter. Right. So if you get in line, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like that. It's a different animal, right? Oh, guaranteed. Yeah, bro. I will not, fuck her up right in front right. of everybody. She's <laughs> slick. She knows it too. But she's, 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 she's my tough girl. She, she, she's, yeah. She lives in the mainland. She's only like 19. Mm. I told her, I, told, I always tell that. I said, she's still moving faster than you, boy. Yeah. She's all in the world doing her thing, single, no kids. Right. I was like that. Independent. Too, independent. That's the main not, thing, bro. She, not, she, she hit me with one, one mean today. I'm my father's child to what he can afford to afford me. So right. Crazy. <laughs> you know, I was like, this fucking kid. Well, that's some chin check for the daughter yeah, right there, yeah, too, yeah, bro. Yeah. She good, though. I like that. I like that fucking freshness. I like that independence, the spunkiness, you know? Right, right, right. I want right, to put right. that into my daughter that, like, hey, you don't take shit from nobody. Right. You be a fucking kind individual, but right. you learn to do shit on your own. Right. There's nobody to fall back on. No excuses. Right. It's you. Right. And she does a good job as far as like being perceptive of what I say and actually learning from my fuck ups. Because I'm honest with her, like, mm-hmm. not nah, daddy fucked up on this. Right. You know what that I mean? Is, that has been around me for forever. Mm. Since I, when me and his mom broke up, I had my daughter and my son. He came with me, my daughter went with the mom, so he's been with me from his third grade to he's twenty now. That's what's up. Mm, so So you guys got a good fucking yeah, bond. Got, yeah, we good. Yeah. If you're honest with you, you Right, that's the main thing. Yeah. No more hidden agenda because we good, you know what I mean? Yeah. We off and out. Life easier that way. For both both yeah. parties, bro. Yeah. Like I get too much houses I got painting. I got other things that were about. You yeah. Know? And you lying to my ass, yeah, like no just gonna fucking that. add to this yeah. bitch, bro. Right. And what about your sons? Couple, Are they fib? Couple, They're couple seven and four. They hard don't. ones. You give them a couple hard ones. You guys realize we're not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all it is. This is the consequence of your right. fuck up, bro. Right. It's some fucking yeah. knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> Too much rice, not enough lifts. Hey, yeah. shout out to mm-hmm. a fucking uncle back in elementary school days. Mm-hmm. So you remember um, Kunoi Lani? Did mm-hmm. You went Kunoi Lani, right? Mm-hmm. Remember at fourth grade, you do the whole Hawaiian culture thing? Mm-hmm. So I remember I was sitting in class and we were talking and it was kind of loud and the teacher scolded everybody. And um, my friend Gabe was like, he kind of fucking made an asshole remark. And then the Kumu at the time was an old man. I forgot what he was teaching us, bro. It was, it was pretty fucking cool, though, what he was teaching us because, like, I wanted to learn it, right? So my friend he did a wise-ass answer and he's like, you know, you kids nowadays, too much rights and not enough lefts. I'm like, Dude. Shirt right there, yeah. bro. When I was at that age, I was like, "Oh, that's fucking true, bro." Like, because at one point it was doing like, um, the kids can call the cops. Like, what the fuck, mom? You tell you, mom, mom, back in the day, call the cops, call them. I don't give a fuck. I'm leaking right. right in front of the cops. Right. You ain't. Oh, you better, you better hope yeah. I don't get out. Like, yeah. oh fuck. <laughs> Nowadays you can't even teach your kids. There's so much rules and yeah. laws. And where does that come from? What? The fact that like kids are so willing to snitch on their parents nowadays. The like, fuck the spying like, list these yeah, kids now. Like, like, the kids no more spying. Right? Like what yeah. goes on in the house doesn't leave the house. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's like that's right. like family yes. business. Yeah. You know I mean, like, yes. I mean sometimes unspoken rule that's supposed to be the unspoken rule. I feel like it's rule. gotta be the school system is like telling them like 
Because imagine back in the days, like, well, my house different. Certain we politi- running martial law my way. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 like like my rules. Rules. Going yeah. around yeah. outside. When you blow the school, horn, everybody yeah, shut yeah, down. Yeah. 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 This area right here, this how the thing go. You know I mean? So we got a bigger structure. Right. right. More structure, get chaos. Yes. And structure, how you create it, too. Because right, 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 if right, not, right, then right. fuck, you going to be agitated. Then everybody else in the house going to be nuts. Right. Yeah, bro. It makes sense. Right. I don't know, man. The kids dry snitches, man. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Right. Fucking, right. ooh. That's why you got to like, in a way, that's kind of my tactic when I do talk about weed and shit around the kids and have it around them. It's like it's medicine. So that way, when they go back to school and if they go repeat, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be like, my dad smokes weed and pot and use those kind of slang words. I use use medicine all the time because it's for real. It's my medicine. Yeah, yeah. My fucking back is so for real, for real from working. I fucking medicate right now. My back hasn't felt so much better. Right. No, yeah, 100%. But like right right now while we're talking, we call it we, you know what I mean? Like we just fucking use slang words. So I'm more mindful of not to do that. My daughter told me one day, it was a couple years back. She's like, dad, is your medicine weed? Yeah, yeah, it is. People view my medicine. They stereotype the name. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I put through to her right off the fucking bat. Like, what do you think? Do you think what I'm doing is wrong? Am I hurting anybody? No, Dad. Nobody robbing nobody yeah, no on one. weed. They robbing right. no icebox. Right. Mm. That's exactly right. My gummy yeah. snacks, dog. Yeah. They're fucking going yeah. in my medicine yeah. cabinet. They're giving a pillow head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's fucking it, bro. Right. Like, uh, I don't know. So I, I put it through to my daughter, like, do you think it's harmful? No. Cool. Right. Case closed. Right. Daddy's cool. Right. My kids, because they know we smoke cigarettes and shit, so they're like, they know that's bad. My kid's like, why do you smoke cigarettes? You know it's bad. So even when he sees me smoking a joint, he's like, you know, that's bad. But I think he doesn't really make the difference every, he can't, cut, he, he can't doesn't know every like time. Right. Yeah, he just doesn't really realize. He's smoking, that's what he knows. Yeah, yeah, it's just smoking. Yeah. He's like security at a festival. Like, that's just smoke. <laughs> Fuck, smoke. <laughs> There's no smoking. He's blowing on. Ah, just fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, like, smoke for me. Oh. Narc. Narc. Oh, Shit. Uh, but no, yeah. Normalize it. Have them work. No, I mean, we try my best. No, no, like. Have I'm them, not worried. My kids aren't snitches. Have them work <laughs> in, a, in a farm. Like, when, when I do a pool, have them help. You know what's funny? They ask. Well, my youngest, my four-year-old asks, can we go to... Uncle Kalei's farm. Hell but you know why they ask? Because get goats? No, because get the trampoline. Fuck so they, they, I like go jump. Jump. <laughs> I get swing set in the back now, too. So they got swing set and a fucking trampoline. Dog, what? Oh, yeah. Please bring them. Oh, yeah. I'm tired of going oh, there yeah, by I myself. I think that's like the best way to do it. So that way, as these kids grow up, they're not growing up with the fucking negative like stigma of it and like hiding it and that shit. And yeah. by the time they're old enough, it's going to be fucking free already you know what i mean like right and you don't want your kids thinking that you lied to them so like when they get older and like oh this ain't shit i'm like dude what the fuck was that hiding from me maybe he was hiding something else mm. you know and to start thinking about second guessing you and all that shit like fuck just come clean dude this is fucking really a medicine and i feel so much better when i smoke it yeah i mean take it as is you, am i really offending you that much i mean look at that lady smoking a cigarette She's hurting herself. That's not medicine, you know? Or that guy with the beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to quit. Yeah. Me too. No. This way. No brand. But anyway, fuck. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, let's call it, late. man. All right, well. You want to shout out? What are your management production? The <laughs> Sorry, why is he drinking too? My bad, bro. Oh. <laughs> shut him down, shut down <laughs> entertainment. Shut him down entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment. Anything yeah. else? No. That's it? Thank you, thank Dallas, you. J. Shout Dallas out J. to Dallas J. The seat is still <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting. We'll catch Again, you next time. Uh, we call that kind of guy's robber. <laughs> like big yarn ball of robber. Big yarn ball of robber. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Right. We love, oh, we love yeah. him still, though. We love him still. Shout out to Pohaku. Pohaku dance, brother dance, Bubba B. There you go, Bubba B. Yeah. Cool. Prayers to Uncle Walter. Nope. Fight that cancer, Unks. Yes, Get well sir. soon. We love you. We got some medicine for him. Guarantee. Got you. Hell yeah. And you, sir? Oahu Garden Supply, 94150 Leo Leo Street, Wapau Hawaii, 96797, the Grow Guru Hawaii on IG. Oh, shit. I forgot to say, beautiful Wapahu. Majestic. And you can find me on Instagram, Voices from the Planet, Hawaii's slowest rising podcast. 
Bingo. Oh. Oh, shit. Top it out. All right. We don't have to do that, you know. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Peace. Thank you.